It's warming up. It's warming up. Okay, I believe. I believe we can fly. I believe we're flying right now. Out to the folks going over the airwaves out there. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay, that's enough, Walt. That's enough. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. All right. So, so, so <laughs> okay. It's been it's been um, a little bit of a break out there. You guys have probably missed us. Welcome back here to the show. As I usually do, I'm going to remind everyone to go to HankStrange.com. Sign up for the email list. Lola is actually giving away a, a, a Olight today. A pretty nice. nice Olight. She's probably going to bring it in here. I'm going to show it to you guys. But you have to be signed up for the email list to do that. We're about to go into December, guys. So remember, in, what do we usually do in December? What do we oh, usually do? Are we giving design. a bunch of crap away? <laughs> Look at that baby face. Right on. I Lola's, gotta start digging around and see what I can give away. Lola's least favorite thing, but we are yeah. gonna give a bunch of stuff away in December. You have to be on the email list in order to get that. That's how it mm. works. Um, look around there. There's Lola's deals. Uh, there's still Cyber Monday deals going on. By mm. the way, you see the uh, the uh, here's this shirt. You can get on Ballistic Ink and Ballistic Ink. I think it ends tonight. If you spend uh, over a hundred bucks, you get free shipping. So um, all that stuff is going on out there. I'm going to kick off the show right now. Let's go for it. And Welcome back to the Hank Strange Boom! situation. Make sure you guys Lifestyle smash the subscribe the button. Smash the thumbs ups. Ring the bell so you can be notified every time. I don't know where's Walter with the ringing of the bell. There we go. Uh, that, was, that was so weak, Walter. That was so oh, weak. Don't do <laughs> all right uh, thanks thanks well that's that's how we like to get our bell rung around here big shout out to borrow Newell's performance steel case ammunition also sponsoring the podcast here helping all of this come out to the good folks i hope you guys missed us uh i, I think i miss you guys a little bit i don't know about patrick and walter i don't know they probably had too much fun like a dude thing huh <laughs> Chris yeah. Bolas says he missed you like a toothache. Oh, well, that's, that's that's not a good thing. I don't think that's a good thing. Okay, this is episode. Oh, I, actually, we gotta do the we gotta do the jazz hands. We forgot. See, We're getting rusty. Jazz hands. There you go. I hope you got your big girl panties on, cause this is episode six hundred and seventy nine of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. Um, to hell in a handbasket. Babyface is showing off knives. There we go. Microtechs are popping. I actually, um, I actually ran into Corey from Microtech over the break, while nice. I was out in uh, while I was out in Georgia, cool. hanging out with the IV eighty eight, eighty eight crew. Shout out to those guys. We got to get him back on at some point. Absolutely, absolutely, we need to do that. Like I said, twenty the the it's six hundred and it's episode six hundred and seventy nine, uh, twenty twenty hell in a handbasket free for all Monday. Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms is here joining us. Walter, what's up? How was your holidays? How was your break? Uh, holiday was fine. Thanksgiving, we cooked some turkey. Uh, you know, uh, did that all thing. We ate, ate outside. Sat, mm. sat outside and ate. How many people up there and up north and sit outside and eat turkey on uh, Thanksgiving? Right, Same right. Name. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, yes. Uh, Thursday, Friday. What did I do Friday? <sighs> was that exciting? I can't remember. Uh, anyways, didn't do anything. <laughs> too well, what's okay. the shop on Friday? Was it the shop? Oh, I had to... I was reassembling an engine of my father's at the shop on Friday. Oh, okay. The timing was wrong on the engine, and it would not run. Right. Um, engine for so, what? Uh, engine for what? When you know when my son bought that truck, that flatbed truck. Oh right, right. Okay, on the back of that flatbed truck, there was an air compressor that was driven by a, a twelve and a half horse Kohler mm -hmm. uh, gasoline engine. Well, the water, the engine had gotten water in it, and uh, so my dad took it all apart, cleaned it all up. But when he put it back together, the timing wasn't right. You know, the, the, the camshaft and the crankcase timing, mm -hmm. and it didn't run right. So um, we took it back apart again and fixed the timing. Okay. All right. Good Hopefully stuff. Run. Good Wait stuff. A, we had to get an order apart um, before we closed it all up and fired up, but hopefully that shows up this week. Yes. Jeff Stevens says, bought one of Walter's Latin lowers. They look so good. Yes. Awesome. Latin. I, I almost said Latin lovers. Latin lovers. <laughs> the Latin lovers. Oh, uh, Latin, that's, that, Latin lower lover, lovers. That yeah. <laughs> that's the Seabus passing parabellum. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that means pass the parabellum. <laughs> if you see it, you, pass it. 
You watch out. We might be passing some of those soon. So. Never yeah. Know. <laughs> Absolutely. Babyface, how was your break, man? What'd you get up to? We went down to visit family. Went down to Tampa on Monday night. Stayed all the way through till yesterday. Came home. Uh, oh, busy, 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 busy. We actually came back Thursday night and went back Friday night. It was crazy. But we had a good time. Get a fried turkey. Uh, if y'all aren't from the South, and I did say y'all. We fried fried turkey. Oh, fried turkey's amazing. I had. Go ahead. I'll, I'll take no, it. I was just, that was it. Well, I, I mean, I think fried... that's the that's the thing this year. Like everyone was doing. I did, we didn't do fried turkey, but Ooh. I saw you guys oh. were doing. I saw Walter was doing it. I think. And I had, Roy. We didn't have a whole turkey. We had a, a turkey breast that came off a of Tyrannosaurus turkey. <laughs> <laughs> that breast. I weighed it. We weighed it before we to figure out the cook time. Ten pounds of turkey breast. Okay. Oh my god, that must have so, been a twenty pound turkey. Yeah, this was so this so this uh turkey had triple D's? What was the deal? Jesus. <laughs> I think that was one side. That wasn't Whoa. like Yeah, it was like the Tyrannosaurus turkey breast. Um Yeah. It took longer than normal too to cook because it was so thick. But wow. it came out really good. It, it 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 was it was really juicy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Jeff Stevens wants to know how we sign up for freebies. The every if to win anything, you have to be signed up on the email list, which is at HankStrange.com. But then you also have to watch this podcast. We so do not it. reach out to you. You must watch and reach out yeah. to us. Well, some people some people just for being on the email list, Lola will, you know, you will get picked and, and stuff like that. But it definitely helps if you're watching the podcast, uh, especially during the month of December. That's our tradition around here, whether these guys like it or not, whether Lola, Lola they all try to get together and outvote me. <laughs> but but truth be known, I don't have to mail anything, so my my job's easy. <laughs> I'm learning more and more how expensive mailing stuff is. It, oh yeah, it's it, not fun. It oh. stacks up pretty quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. It can, it can, yes it can. Yes, um, it's not fun. So in, in the chat, Born to Be a Shooter is asking about uh, bolt carrier groups for an AR-10 is two of them enough. Um, how many AR-10s you got? <laughs> well, I mean, how much are you going to shoot your AR-10? I mean, you know, yeah. Do those that, bolt carriers don't wear out that much on AR-10s, do well, they? Well, a bolt carrier, I mean, tech, bolt carrier group includes a bolt head, so, I mm. mean, the average person is never going to wear it out. No. So, oh. um, depends on what kind of so shooting you yeah, it depends on what kind of shooting you're going to do, I guess. What's the part of, of that whole BCG that goes first? Well, so the, the bolt? The carrier pins wear, too. Mm. Um, okay. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I would have more spares like firing pins and carrier. And Pan, the, firing the pins, carrier key, The carrier key mm -hmm. um, than I would complete assemblies. But, you know, that's just me. Yeah. Um, okay. Just be aware also, AR-10 stuff is not all cross-compatible. Okay. Um, because there's never been like a... Uh, all the AR-10 manufacturers back in the day didn't get together and say, hey, let's all make it the same. They okay. all said to each other, oh, fuck you, I'm doing it my way. Mm -hmm. And that's why Armalite stuff is different than than um, DPMS stuff and all that. Right. Is DPMS the most popular one? Yeah, that is. That pattern okay. is, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Jeff Stevens says, I'm subscribed, if that's what you mean. No, go to the email list. Sign up for the email list. It's on HankStrange.com. Or there's even a section for email if you go there, and then make sure your email's in there. Because uh, Lola checks those emails when stuff's going out to people. So you got to be <laughs> signed up for the email list. Um, and then, you know, there's going to be a, a whole bunch of things that uh, get – given out and specifically here we'll have stuff there's a, there's there's lots of things going on so i mean it's not it's not december yet uh what do we got two more days one more one more day tomorrow tomorrow, tomorrow. is december oh it okay. is okay yeah tomorrow's the first i know i got a bunch of work i gotta finish up before yeah the ended it yeah end of the year and it's already crazy it's already crazy this has been a this has been a crazy year by the way, if you're coming in now, smash the thumbs ups and all that. Let's get those going so people re uh, realize we're out there. Was someone questioning my pronunciation? Well, I'm hearing a lot of static. Was someone questioning my pronunciation of Barnoles? Because is it wrong? Am I saying? I say Barnoles. Yeah. Whenever I, so whenever I talk to Dave, he goes Barnoles. So I yeah, guess that, I would say go with that. Then. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
I'm going to go with the dudes who, who should That's know, so but who knows? I never get pronunciations right. So. Pronunciation. Pr- pr- <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Pr- pronunciate. You know, but... What did you just say? Pronunciation. 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 So, so I asked the chat, <laughs> but did you guys pick up any cool Black Friday deals? Cool Black uh, Walter Friday. Walter got deals. me on one, and I'm gonna get in so much trouble when that box comes in. I bought. I just bought Max. Bought Max from Global. Yep. Yeah, I bought I got... Max from Global. Maxed out what I could buy. Only, I only did it one time, and then I did I did twenty fifteens uh, and ten uh, seven six two thirty nine AK Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mars gonna kill me, but then I, but I was like, Marley, just wait till Biden gets in. I can like sell them. That is the cheapest price for those mags that you're gonna Ever. find, because yeah. all the other dealers are selling them for more. Um, yeah. It's not a crime to buy magazines. No, it isn't. No, no, it's not and a violation. And it's not a to sell them either, by the way. No, no, no. no. Whenever that box comes in, it's going to be Or trade them, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Good trading stuff. Good trading stuff. But yeah, I they would... I think. Def- yeah. I, in the package. Yep. They don't go bad. Yeah. I would definitely say magazines are a thing. There's a whole... We, we could, we'll get into that. We'll get into, like, we'll, you know, should you buy this or that kind of a thing. But magazines, always a good thing. Never bad. Unless you're overpaying for the magazines. But I think that there hasn't been a run on magazines yet, right? We haven't seen, like, magazine Not prices. Not really. There's really. tons Not of really. available. Yeah. Not really. Some of the prices have went up a little. But then again, look at these deals that we... Uh, everybody doesn't know. Global Ordnance had... I think they're AR mags, the Korean made AR mag. Excuse me for uh six ninety nine, I think it was, or five ninety nine. Was it four ninety nine? Yeah. Four ninety nine for AR and five ninety nine for AK. Right. Mm-hmm. Now they had a limit. They had a limit of um twenty six on one and and sixteen or fifteen on the other. I don't know what it was, I forget. But um 'cause I wouldn't have bought a hundred of them. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. But at that price? Uh, um, so, oh, so yeah. other thing I picked up, I saw on, on I Instagram right today. Check pa- these things pouches. out. Mag pouches from Eagle Industries, which is like a top brand. That's not like a cheap mag pouch brand or, or uh, anything. These are considered used, which I swear means they just came out of the wrapper because there's nothing wrong with them. They're still flat. Six bucks a piece. Like, you can't go wrong with that. So I bought like five of them because why not? I'll use them to stick mags in and do mm-hmm. something. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That's not those aren't those aren't bad to have either. You got to have something to carry your your yeah, mags around. It, it's only so many you're gonna get in your pockets. That's right. right. So then you can clip that on your belt, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depends on how everyone has their different ways of gearing up. So you know you still want to look a little bit tactical. Okay. Listen. Before we get into the before we get into the stuff. Um, Edward Andrews sent us pictures of turkeys getting fried. Let me see if I can roll this in. Here we go. Turkeys getting fried right here. Uh, is this fried in peanut oil, I guess? Uh, 337 degrees. I, uh, I, I put the turkey breast Oh, this in looks good. Oh, that looks good. 350. Yeah, he's got on some kind of like, some kind of fireproof glove. Which I guess is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Let me see. Is it peanut oil? Oh, yeah. Nothing well, we, like fried turkey cooked in peanut oil. Oh, good. We also made some homemade hush puppies. Oh, mm. I bet those were good. And after that, we, we tried our hand at a funnel cake. How funnel did that cake. all go? Huh. Uh, well, typically, like you see them do it at the fair. They have a ring that they pour into a ring. Yeah. yeah. We didn't have that ring, so... It kind of was going out from the center, but we, I just kept going at it, and finally it, it made one mass. But even even the small pieces that cooked up, sprinkle that powdered sugar on them, and they're still good. So what, what kind of oil were you using, Walt? When Peggy went to Costco, all I had left was soybean oil. Uh, so, soybean oil. Uh, was it good? Did it taste good? Yeah, it was fine. Okay. I know you're thinking soybeans and testosterone and all that right. stuff. <laughs> um, I was but, thinking you were a soy boy turkey eater for the. <laughs> I still had for I still Thanksgiving had the container of oil from last year uh-huh. that had been sitting in the shed, so mm-hmm. I went ahead and used the new stuff. And I'm trying. To, I'm gonna try to find somebody that wants to burn it in their diesel or something, give it away. So mm-hmm. 
It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't go bad. We've been using the same oil for ten years now. Fil- no. you fil- yeah, filter it out, <laughs> reuse it. It doesn't. It, it definitely does not go bad. This is Patrick we're talking about here. You, nothing should surprise we, you. Well, Dad's been using the same oil for a long time, and it tastes at, great. At the end of the last year, I filtered the oil out and got all the chunks of stuff out yeah. of it. Yeah, it's yeah, perfectly fine. Though. Does anyone have a vehicle that runs off of the, uh, the oil? Uh, pro- diesel. Stuff? You have an old school diesel. Mm-hmm. I don't. But yeah, no, I yeah. Don't like either so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah me neither. School, if anyone school. does, let us know. I thought you would yeah. have one, Walter. One of those military vehicles should run on everything. I used to have an M35 that had a multi-fuel engine, and you could use mm. that. You could run that in the in there too. But I mm-hmm. want one of those one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a diesel mini bike. <laughs> here's Len Holt. He's responding to the soy, uh, the frying of in the soy oil. It's a war, a war on your balls. <laughs> there you go. That's what, that's not for me. <laughs> I'm reading verbatim. <laughs> I, I, I think my, my, my one-time exposure to a soybean oil is not going to affect the jewels. I don't think it's going to. Uh, you, you never know. You never know. <laughs> you don't know what's out there nowadays. I guess. It could be an extra virulent form of, of uh, you know. I uh, Brian Quick says, um, negative. Do we need to do a GoFundMe? So Face P can afford fresh oil. He <laughs> likes his oil like that. You can't. I'm telling you, it's, it's got all the seasoned. flavor. Yeah. It's seasoned. That's right. <laughs> You're getting that thing up to 350 degrees. You think anything's going to live in that? Uh, <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, Tastes fantastic. <laughs> Maybe some alien, some kind of alien, uh, you yeah. know, bacteria might be able to survive yeah, in there. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff, uh, what was it, Futurama, where... Do you remember this Futurama where he ate a sandwich from, like a gas station? Yes, and he got the little worms in his his brain or whatever that yeah. made him a super like super strong, uh, right, smart. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. James Miller says Global still has a sale going on. There they you go. do. And Boom. I I don't know if anybody's aware. I wasn't aware until Walter told me. But that's a hell of a price. They have a oh, lot yeah. of magazines, obviously. Clearly. I have I have another box of a hundred when they let you buy a hundred mm-hmm. sitting that I that I haven't had a chance to sell yet. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. you may, you'll be careful. You may get your chance soon. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, uh, hopefully not. Okay. So where do we, I don't know, where should we start here? Right. There's so many, so much went down over this break since we were gone. Is happened? there a place where we start or what do we just, do we, about? do we just forget? Yeah. Let's let the folks out there can tell us what they want to talk about. Or should we just like forget and pretend none of it happened? What do you what want? What happened? What, what, what happened? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, okay. See, Walter already forgot. <laughs> that's the soy. That's the soybeans. I got, I got, I'm, I'm getting some new mowing machines. I got electrician in the shop. I got, you know, to be quite honest with you, I mean, I know all this stuff is going on, but I can't. Yeah. You have to prioritize your. Did you say some focus. new milling machines? Yeah. CNC two new machines. Ma- two, two of Whoa. them. Yeah, two Hercos. VM10. Good on you. Herco yeah. VM10s. Yeah. Um, I, I've heard good things about the Hercos compared yeah. to the um, the other brand. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, so, so does this mean that Hank Strange lowers for everyone? Oh God. No. Oh. <laughs> everyone who pays. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> do you uh, uh, do you know? I mean, I guess you have a business plan. What do you you know what you're gonna be pumping out with them? Where yeah, are you gonna question. put them? Yep, two good questions. God, <laughs> where uh, that's exactly? Easy, actually. There's actually, well, yeah. Um, just do a little shuffling around. You could just build a shack. Be a you could that empty lot across from you. You could just build, put a shack right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's gonna be major, uh, major shift, uh, shit shifting in the shop. So, I'm, yeah. I'm wondering yeah. if anything cool is gonna be sold anytime soon. Cool, sold. Yeah, I call you dibs on the pins now. Just gonna be stored it on the rafters. Wait, I call dibs I'm on the pins now. If you. I'm just saying, Walt, you want to get rid of the pins gower? You know, make no. room. I will take it off your hands. You're welcome. No, Nobody that has prisons of bed lining is getting my pins gower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never. As, it would look never. so good. It would look so good. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. So let's see what people want to talk You see any stuff that's coming through that people want to talk about yet, Patrick? Uh, uh, what about the Iranian dude that got murdered by a robot? 
Okay, that's fu- uh, okay. That was crazy. Let me see. I do actually. We what, could go into that. Murdered by a robot. I haven't heard oh, this one. What, what was the robot like jerking him off or something or yeah. what? I mean, come no, on. no. Um, hold on a second here. Shot with remote controlled machine gun. Oh, ouch, <laughs> ouch. Yeah, there's a couple of different places talking about that, but he got set up basically because they. Uh, from, this is my recollection of what happened. He heard some gunfire while he was in his bulletproof vehicle. He got out of his bulletproof vehicle and got mowed down. And then, yeah, and th- and then there was a car that they that they already had set up with a, with a remote control machine gun. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hmm. Yeah, if you're in a bulletproof car, you stay in the bulletproof car. All right, let me just <laughs> yeah, put my input get on this. You get if out. you have to ride around a bulletproof car, you need to stay in your bulletproof car. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see here. I'm going to put up one of them. This is from CNN, right? It says, uh, assassinated Iranian nuclear scientist shot with remote control machine gun news agency says. The uh, Iranian nuclear scientist, was he assassinated or gently assisted into the afterlife? I I don't know. I prefer gently assisted. Like, we don't want him around, right? Yeah. I don't know if that's an assassination, per se. Yeah. It's potatoes, potatoes. As far as I'm concerned, maybe to them, maybe to the Iranians, it, it looks bad. It remote control machine gun. Away. I yeah. think you're right. Yeah. So was it, le- was it put there by Mossad or something? Or what? Uh, yeah, bro. That's, allegedly, <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, that's what happened. So this article goes on to say, uh, Iranian nuclear scientist assassinated east of Tehran was shot by a remote control machine gun operating out of another car. The semi-official Fars News Agency said Sunday, with top Iranian officials blaming Israel, Supreme Leader uh, Ayatollah Syed Ali Khamenei, and others have promised revenge for the Friday killing of Mohsen uh, Fakhrizadeh. I don't know. I'm just going to go with that one. Who was the country's chief nuclear scientist. There were conflicting accounts from Iranian news agencies about how the attack unfolded. The Fars News report says uh, he was traveling with his wife in a bulletproof car alongside three security personnel. So he had three vehicles when he heard what sounded like bullets hitting a vehicle and he exited the car to determine what happened. When he got out, a remote control machine gun opened fire from a Nissan, stopped about 150 meters from from his car, the agency said. That's a 150 meter machine gun shot? Remote control? That, that's some skill right there. That's some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, that's not, like, uh, in my mind, I thought that was, like, right next to <laughs> Yeah, I'd be, like, right behind him. I'm, yeah. uh, I think I need to have one of these Nissans. Where can yeah. I, Nissan, where can I buy one of these? Machine, machine gun <laughs> Nissans. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, no, uh, I don't know who's going to shit into Hey, hey, Patrick, today. Patrick, Tel Aviv Nissan dealer. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Tel Aviv if I'm yeah. a Nissan. <laughs> um, Truth About Guns. Truth About Guns has something here. Also, Iranian nuclear scientist. Pro tip. Don't exit your bulletproof vehicle when you hear the sound of gunfire. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it goes on to talk about the whole thing. So, yeah, I want to see, uh. like, some kind of video from this. There has to be... There has to be video. What do you guys uh, think? Truth about guns: an anti uh, anti gun March for Our Lives organizer becomes a pro gun director of Pink Pistols chapter. I believe it. Hmm. I'm sure something At happened. At 17, Fanayan co-founded the Utah chapter of March for Our Lives. In 2018, she helped organize a massive event where roughly 8,000 protesters met at the state capitol to demand stricter gun laws. Um. That's because they've defunded these pro these groups. That's why. I I wonder if that's what's All, happening. Have you noticed? You notice it's been awfully quiet. Yeah. Right? What are you saying? They don't need they don't need them anymore. If I was if I was if I was a uh, a news person, I would first question I would ask Joe Biden is, who in your administration told everybody to stop uh, uh, protesting? <laughs> and see what he says. So so this is an odd statement, but I'm on I'm on board. As working class people, we should not be disarmed, she said. There is an everlasting violence against LGBTQ people that oftentimes politicians or whatever side of the aisle are not addressing, and we need to be able to protect ourselves. How, what, we, how many times have we been saying this? <laughs> you need to be able to protect yourself. <laughs> oh, well, you know, welcome to the fold, um, whoever that is. I don't know. 
I don't know what fold you're you know, talking about, but anyways, to, yeah. yeah. Welcome to the fold. <laughs> you know, there, there's there's and my thought is, you know, we we this might not be popular what everybody I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. but there's this idea out there that everybody should be everybody's everybody's welcome mm -hmm. to uh, join the fold, as you say. Mm -hmm. um, now, yes, everybody can own firearms. I have no problem with that. I mean, that's that's no problem at all. Um, but I I don't know how much of that fold you want to be in my in your fold <laughs> at times the fold you know, can get a little the, the fold the fold can get a little challenging the thing here and, is you can't choose who decides to be in the fold yeah that's, and, absolutely and that's so the way it is and my there's always folds is, within fold to folds uh, next yep. to folds so mm -hmm. and yeah. so once again as i said everybody has that right but i don't necessarily Gun think that Basically, what Hank is saying is gun owners as a whole is a massive obese person with folds next to folds next to folds. And yeah, right, well, some, of those, some of those folds, there's some stuff you don't want to see. Hidden, hidden up underneath in those cracks, you know, Lent. and yeah. it's better. They're, they're Maybe there's a chicken to... wing ha ha hiding under there. There yeah. could be. Uh, lost from weeks ago. Yeah. Tactical fat, you know. Yep, that's uh, right. Situations yeah. going on. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. There's a couple things out there. Hold on. Uh, I carry my revolver in single action. Says, did you see Nate Robinson get knocked out by Jake Paul? I didn't um, watch it. A, did anybody watch it? Fight, fight. I watched. I watched um, on YouTube later. I watched a Mike Tyson Roy Jones fight. It was interesting. You know, some old dudes. I think uh, what Mike Tyson was 50, is 51. And uh, Roy Jones is like fifty four. They look they look good out there, you know. Uh, Mike, Mike Tyson's I think, a scary dude. Yeah, I think Mike Tyson won, but they called it a draw. Da da da. It was I'm an exhibition. The, it was an exhibition thing. I yeah. Hear, so I'm over all the blood sports. Yeah, uh, there wasn't <laughs> any blood. I didn't see any blood. I didn't see the Jake well, Paul one. I don't follow Jake Paul. I did see a picture of some dude knocked out. I guess. I don't know. I guess that's Nate Robinson. I don't know. Even, the, um, I don't know who that is. So. The MMA stuff is, to me, sometimes just mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. Yeah, just um, too much. Yeah, I think these guys came back. I think it was a payday, but I think they said they did it for charity. But oh, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to fight either one of those dudes. So. Mm. No, why would you want to do Robinson, that? So he's not a bo Nate Robinson's not a boxer. He's an NBA player. I didn't realize that. He's in the NBA? Um, yeah, he's not a boxer. Uh, See, I have, so, no, I have no clue. I barely know I about Jake either. Paul. Jake Paul is a big YouTuber, right? He's just a YouTuber. Yeah. San Jose Sharks forward um, Evander Kane came out saying that the NBA isn't tough enough, so hockey needs to step up and try fighting him back. So he's like, I'm Oh, in. shit. <laughs> <laughs> the NBA is tough. Listen, just because you're a YouTuber <laughs> doesn't mean you're soft, right? You ever seen just... the hockey guys go at it? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think the hockey player would give him better run for his money. It ain't the NBA. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I want to fight dudes who are used to getting hit in the face with hockey sticks and uh, hockey pucks and stuff like that. Teeth. Yeah, no. getting yeah. their teeth knocked out and never. Mm. Rule of life: never pick a fight with somebody that has cauliflower ear. It's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, that's a good rule. That's a good rule. We could go with that. <laughs> Um, but it wasn't anything, I, I mean, when I looked at that, the funniest thing, looking at that video, was listening to Snoop Dogg call call the fight with Mike Tyson. It's just getting weirder and weirder. So Snoop Dogg called the fight? I think just so. just lost all credibility. All <laughs> I heard Snoop Dogg, I think Sugar Ray Leonard was supposed to, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, like I did, look, Mike Tyson's from my time. You know, when I was younger, when I was in my prime. Mike Tyson was the man knocking out people in the streets of New York City. Um, and if you look at that thing, Mike Tyson was still just going like right in. He's still crazy. And uh, one thing I want to say with this, all these years of smoking the ganja has not messed him up. I mean, okay. it hasn't hurt him. <laughs> There's only so much brain damage that can happen before you die. You think that little bit of weed's going to hurt him? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. He did look hurt. Mike Tyson, I am not calling you out. I do not need a, a Mike Tyson showing up at my door. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. No, just old lions. That's what I thought about looking at that thing. <laughs> I was like, are you? Let me ask you this: If if would you get into a cage with an old ass, like let's say a 50 year old lion? 
How long do lions live? Hold on. <laughs> no, no, I have no idea. Why? <laughs> a 50-year-old lion, uh, considering they live 10 to 14 years, a 50-year-old lion would probably be stuffed. So, yeah, I'm bones. <laughs> yeah, bones. I'll get, I'll get in the cage. You get in. <laughs> if a 50-year-old lion is still alive... I don't care if he's I like. A, I, I don't care if he's a bag of bones walking around. I'm not getting Slave it. Slave it, shoot it up the butt with some sort of elixir to keep it alive. I don't want any part of that. Yeah. 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 A magic um, I carry my revolver in single action. Says they were smoking weed and all. Babyface P. I believe it. Of course. So uh, yeah. What else? Yeah. Night Train says I met Mike Tyson at a gym in New York City right after he won the heavyweight ch championship. Mike Tyson will get into people, get into fights with people on the streets and knock them out. He's, he's a real dude. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is a dude who had a pet tiger. You gotta. That's give... called money. M O N E Y. Walt, are you? Would you get a pet tiger? No, but you know what? How much it costs to feed a pet tiger? What, what pet would you, you get if you had the money? Yeah. They eat red meat. They don't eat like uh, you know, tiger chow. Feeding a, a feeding a tiger is probably equivalent equivalent to feeding like ten boys, ten young men. Like my my kids eat yeah. everything. Uh, yeah, but they don't turn around and eat you when you're not looking. Yeah, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, there's food in the refrigerator. For dessert. For dessert. This is why you have a, a top tip in parenting: keep food uh, in the refrigerator. Uh, yeah. So you know. Ooh, gonna cut some meat up. That's how you. I know for sure. Like I, just like I've got two boys, man, and they eat everything. Um, I know. Last night, for example, I wasn't really hungry because we were like trying to fix stuff. Uh, the whole weekend we were working on things, and I was too hungry to eat. Lola made me some stuff. I ate half, like half of it, and put up the other half. And so today I was trying to eat that thing. I was trying to find it. Gone. Gone. Mm -hmm. Somebody went in the fridge, right. saw it, microwaved it, ate it. So, well, it's yeah. free, my friend. It's free. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. So imagine a tiger. I no. Yeah. No, I don't have. <laughs> no. pets. I don't have pets that can kill me. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Gun snob says just feed them your husband. That's what Carol Baskin does. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, nope. I carry my revolver. Said that. Um, Tiger King was selling them for around five grand. They cost a lot more. I think back in the eight, like eighties, nineties, probably a lot mm -hmm. more. Yeah. So, um, before the again, market got saturated on the the tiger market. Too many, too many tigers on the market. <laughs> Everybody's selling tigers. And, yeah, I don't know. It, it's yeah. Leave the tigers in the jungle. Yeah. You know, they don't need yeah. them in. Uh, I, I think I saw on Joe Rogan, Mike Tyson talking about how he got the Tigers, that he said he was in prison, and he heard these dudes in prison talking about, like, Tigers and horses and stuff like that, and he was like, oh, I want to get, get some animals. <laughs> so I think he sold his cars or something that he had and got, got the tiger tigers and stuff like that, yeah. And then definitely, if you look at the picture, I wouldn't have a pet tiger and then be walking around in like, uh, in, like what was that? What are those? Uh, like those like uh, bikini string bikini things the dudes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thong? banana hammock. Yeah, thong. Yeah, thong? yeah, banana hammock. Whatever. I wouldn't. Come on. I would put a big metal. I would lock my junk up. Armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, so, dear. Yeah, and then he was like swimming with that thing in the pool, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. What else? Yeah, the eighties, the eighties. I guess the eighties and the nineties. You know. Yeah. And then broke, Crazy times. broke, Crazy and more broke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. So that there was a fight. I didn't look at that when it went down. I didn't look at it. Um, okay, what about this one? You guys, I'm waiting for you guys to tell me. Uh, uh, you know what else was going on here? But uh, I'm not calling the baby Yoda. Grogu, not gonna do it. I watched that. That was. I haven't um, seen it, so I don't know what you're talking about. No. But I, I, I know uh, what. Mandalorian. You're yeah, but supposedly yeah. his name is Grogu, which sounds like Dragon Ball Z, and I'm not gonna do it. It, it does. It kind of does. Yeah. Um. All the Yodas are supposed to have. Uh. I thought they were supposed to have Y names. Like Yoda. Well, 
And then there was and wait, no, 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 not why. Isn't there? No, was it well, Yoda? There was. I think there was Yoda and Yaddle or something like that. There was just there was two of them. There was one female Czech Yoda at some point. That's it. Yeah. Really went. That's it. It, it. Like in a movie for a couple of seconds. I don't know. In one of the movies, like when little baby Darth Vader was was uh, first getting his uh, making his Jedi bones or whatever, uh, there was a female one. So I, you know what I thought would have been a great name, yogurt. That would have been a great name for the baby Yoda. I would have called the baby Yoda yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah, you know where that comes from. That's spaceballs. Oh, okay. It's, oh, it. No. I no. I know what you're talking about. Now yeah. I do. Yeah. I haven't seen spaceballs in a long time. Never. <laughs> yeah, long. Time. You never saw that, Patrick. You never saw spaceballs. It's been a long time. Oh, okay. No, I look at that uh, on a regular, frequent basis. See, Jay Grew got it. He said spaceballs. <laughs> And CB uh, says Yaddle, so that was the name of the the female one, Yaddle, so there you go. Uh, okay. And James Perlin says, I hope there was a chick yo yo <laughs> Yoda. He said yoga, but Yoda. Yoga. Yeah. Now, there are some yoga chicks, by the way. He's checked that yeah, out. Yeah. But, um, yeah. For sure. For That's sure. an Instagram thing, though. Yeah. Yeah, don't Instagram. get lost in that. Pretty amazing it's a rabbit stuff, hole. You know? Yeah, there's some be, seriously flexible ladies out there. You'll be looking at that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> your wife will be standing over you, over your shoulder, and you won't even realize it. That's how I you don't get know busted. if I, I don't know if you've seen this or not. I, don't, I shouldn't tell you two microtech marks about it. What? Swiss Precision meets American Freedom. Oh, collaboration I think... of B and T and microtech knives. Yeah, I think I saw that somewhere. Yeah, that's on the Farns blog. Um. Yeah, I think I did see that. Uh, Ages it? it is not. Let me see. It's the what is it? The B and T, right? Yeah, something about B and T and Microtech. Swiss, yeah, here we go. I'll pull it up. Here. You want me to send you the link, Patrick? Got it. Yeah. Some okay. consider VTABC nine to be the Swiss watch of the pistol caliber carbines, as you may remember. Army selected the BNT APC 9K as a new sub uh, subcompact weapon last year with an initial order of 350. Let's see. So they're getting uh, the package also includes an 8.0 nano optic mounted on a BNT low profile riser. Uh, oh, so they're doing um, an exclusive deal through Microtech, where you get a Microtech, a BNT branded knife, a BNT APC 9K with a uh, tail hook brace. Ah, it's probably really expensive. Yeah, uh, so my question there would be, can you just buy the knife? It's probably a, not. It's a Dirac, a Durac, whatever you want to call it. Oh, so yeah, okay. you can get a Durac. But it, okay. it's not going to be laser engraved with B&T US property yeah. number or whatever. Okay. Did they say, um, oh, MSRP is $7,000. And I think I'll just get the knife on its own. Yeah, that's a lot I'll of money. The knife on its own. Walter, I think mm. you should get one of those. I um, think not. I think <laughs> you should get one of those so we could. We we need to check it out, Walter. All right. I, Come I on. I spent two hundred and eighteen dollars for an FMK nine millimeter pistol. I ordered one over the weekend, and I get started gather parts for a a, a, a knockoff Glock. Uh, 19 uh, a, build. A Glock thing. off 19? <laughs> Knock off 19, yeah. Um, uh, I, I have uh, more sitting right here somewhere. Hold on. This. Why, why I did all that, I have no idea. I was just drawing it's a piece to of it. plastic, YouTube. That's all it is, a piece of plastic. Uh, I have this that I need to do the same thing to. Uh, so I, actually... need to, I need to know where you're finding yeah, deals mean... from. Yeah. So wait, are you planning on uh, are you planning on machine gunning the uh, the Glock 19? That would be pretty cool, Walter. Mm -hmm. Hint, hint. Mm -hmm. are, are are you planning what? Are you making that into a machine gun? My, uh, my thing well, broke up. Oh yeah. It's time for him to break up. So he, uh, he not that I know of immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. W why not go for like a Glock anything, 34 anything or something possible. like that, or the Glock 17? 34 Yeah. Glock 17 long. Yeah. 
I actually, oh, by the way, I think Harry's Holster still has their, um, I think their, st their sale still going on. Did you but, see his new holsters? Yes, here we go. Hold oh. on. I'm going to run, run one in. Here's a picture of one. By the way, the holsters come in these very cool uh, coffee bean looking bags. Have you, have you seen that? I don't know if you, I'm showing I'm showing it up on the screen, but this is my Glock 34 in one of the uh, the new competition mm. uh, hey, holsters right now there. Now come with hold on, let me take this out. And, uh, this is a competitor's holster, but my favorite. They now come with Safari. You can use Safari Lane attachments, and I yeah. like the Safari Lane hook style. So yeah, yeah, and I think they still I think they still have their sale going on. Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna look that up right now because I believe that there's there were big sales going on 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 the site. I, th I know I shared some of that. Let's see. It's I think it's still going. Let me see if I could pull this up and share this with everyone. It is Cyber Monday, so it wouldn't surprise me if you still had some deals. Yes, yeah, still going. Here we go. I'll roll this in for everyone. So here we go, right here. These are the Black Friday deals from Harry's Holsters and uh, the new the new um, the new holsters are out there. So there you go, including, so let's see, they've got uh, the Contender is out there, Singleton and Contender bundle, um, bundle with the pa with the uh, paddle, Contender bundle with the X-Lock, all that stuff is out there. Unfortunately, I don't think you can mix the uh, all right. the code exactly that we so. have with that, so. Probably not. Yeah. You can't double dip that much. No, I don't think they're going to let you really? double dip with that, but after the sale is gone, then you can use the, uh, the Hank Strange code. That's something that I'm, I've been wanting Harrison to do something like that for a while because mm -hmm. currently, obviously, as you can see, I have uh, T Rex arms, which also good holsters, but I, you know, I'd rather buy from somebody I know. So I will. Absolutely what's your What's your competition? Uh, what's your competition gun? Don't show us. Uh, but. It is what fits in that holster is a <laughs> MMP, a five inch MMP 2.0 that right. I bought from the Strange Collection. Uh, oh, okay. And it has a uh, kind of light is that uh, enforce. It has an enforce light. Oh, the enforce. Okay, very yeah. cool. Shout out to Tyvin. I see Tyvin out there. <laughs> Shout out to him. Um, and um, I don't know if I I don't know if I said that before, but I, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Tyvin's wife lost uh, a uh, close family member. So my condolences. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry to hear goes that. Goes out to those guys. Condolences out to Sherry Wine out there, if we haven't already done. Oh that. yeah, her father's passing. Yeah. Oh, that's really sad. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. That was last week, sometime I think. Yeah. Saying. Right. So uh, it's tough, tough to go through that over the holidays. Also. Um, yeah. Let's see, Walter. Did you go get something? I was, as you could tell, my connection, my internet connection looked. Oh. Ow, 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 Somebody got smacked so, up. <laughs> I was just looking in there to see if someone was streaming something or you know downloading something, uh -huh. and they were all, "I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it." <laughs> what are you talking about? Somebody was looking at yoga on Instagram. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's that's what's going on there. Uh, Armament and Axis wants to know what's the guns on the wall behind you, Patrick. Uh, we have, and I'll use my my uh, M7 bayonet as a pointer. An uh, M16A1 that you can watch being built on YouTube right now if you go check out my channel. Uh, we put that one together from a Apex Gun Parts kit. I think, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, that one came from Sarko. Uh, good deal. Oh, and then over the weekend, I uh, gun-coded the receiver. So that's on Instagram if you guys want to see that on Instagram. Behind that is my go-to-war gun, I guess you'd call it, my kind of home defense AR-15. Uh, it's an SBR, 11 and a half inch SBR. I'm trying out a new handguard. I haven't decided if I like it or not. It's different. It's a um, Where's Arrow hand? Precision. Oh, okay. It's one of the mm -hmm. Arrow Precision um, S1. I think it's called an S1. It's either an S1 or an R1. It's the one without the full top rail. And I'm iffy on it at the moment. So I'm going to continue shooting with it, see what I think of it. But there you go. That's what I yeah. got behind me. Very cool. I don't see the crank, but that's probably past the TV. In the other room. Oh, okay. And uh, MP5 is down there, so I can't pick it up. Oh, okay. Can yeah. only put so much uh, on the wall. I thought the crank would be the go-to-war gun, but what, what's that, Walt? What's up? 
as well. I don't know, but he's frozen. Uh, well. So so I would love the Krink to be a go to war gun. The problem is if you gotta scavenge this is this is me being a crazy person. <laughs> if you gotta scavenge ammo, mags, parts, you know, when the zombie apocalypse hits, what are you gonna find more of? An AKS seventy four U mags and ammo or AR fifteen? I mean Yeah. Well, it's you know, hard to beat the um, you should be let's, able to go to Bar Newell's and get a bunch of AK-74. Right? No, that would be a good idea. <laughs> when prices come back down, I will probably go to barnewells.com. I don't think the it's the prices; list. it's the freaking availability. I can still uh, get oh. seven. Uh, I can still get five four five. Pricing right now, it, it went from like nineteen cents around to like forty two cents around. So mm. I'm waiting a little bit. Mm. Yeah, go ahead, Walt. Oh. Sorry. Patrick, have you seen the latest um, Kyber Armory video? Oh, what did they? I haven't looked at it. What is it? They, what? There's that crink that that's got the funny thumb hole handguard that everybody thinks it's a Russian prototype. Yeah. It's it's not a Russian prototype. It's something they, that made it. It's made in the Dara region. Oh, cool! I'm gonna have to go watch that. But those guys, I had a little conversation with those guys as a result of that that video, and they, I guess they're working on bringing parts in. Made in the Dara region. That is, I'm on board. I'm on board with that. I don't know if that means bring them to England because those yeah, guys are from. Yeah, I, I think they're overseas. Yeah, they're in England because we had we had a, a little English uh, language thing about bitsa. The word bitsa means bits of you know bits of this and bits yeah. of that. Uh huh. And oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what the Brits call. Like my Chinese motorcycle that I have in the shop, it's a bitsa. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all parked together. Yeah, the Chinamen, they take them all apart in big piles and just grab parts out of the piles. And, mm. and um, But anyways, yeah, so I guess they're working on bringing in... Um, and actually, I heard they're going to work on bringing in magazines from that region, too. Good for them. I hope, they, I hope we see some cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah. But I think I want to build me a crink... I want to build a, a Kyber Pass AK. You know what I have, Patrick? I bought specifically to do that. I've got some of the Yugo RPK... Um, ventilated barrels okay you're gonna go really crazy and, and cut it off short and yeah that's gonna be a yeah. real hyper pass gun hmm. yeah just I, really so i thought about i thought about doing the next build as a kyber pass build um what a country one of the one of the dealers has a romanian non-matching romanian um ak-60 Someone, Walter, I think you're getting a lot of, like, static or something coming over. The air conditioner just turned on. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, Here. yeah. Um, they have them for, like, $340, so I thought about picking up one of those and then doing a side folder. Oh. Take, take it off, Walt. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Patrick. No, I, I thought about doing a Kyber Pass build for my next build series. I don't right. know... People keep asking me to do a set me, and I have a parts kit sitting down there. I just need to do it. So what is it that makes... Fly. I'm trying to see... Okay, here's a picture. Because I'm trying to find what exactly is going to make this look like a Kyber Pass. Like, what are the specific... Um, there really isn't any set thing. It can be parts from different guns. It can be something that's kind of a cobbled up mess. A, it, it would what you call it a a a, a, bitsa. a, a bitsa. Yeah. It's, it kyber pass builds are absolute bits of guns it's whatever they can scavenge but the kyber pass people uh really like the, the pakistanis that in that area really like the triangle side folders that the russians had back in the yeah. 70s or 80s whenever they were there yeah so that's like a telltale kyber pass build is having that triangle side folder. which personally you guys know me i love the triangle side folder. So yeah, and they also build, um, they build crinks that are in seven six two by thirty nine, crink style guns. Um, they build anything they can get their hands on, including yeah. five four five ammo by hand. It, it's. Oh yeah, yeah. They're you gotta, good. Just yeah, we like, saw I mean, that video. Guess, uh, yeah, I guess like any any uh, field, there are uh, really talented people there, and there are really really untalented people there making stuff. Craftsmen. But they're actually doing craftsmen. They're actually doing injection molding in that in that region too. So the knockoff Glocks that they're making now. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It, it looks exactly like a Gen three Glock. It's amazing. They should make a hey. Gen one. <laughs> they made a clear polymer Glock. So 
So it's yeah, legit. clear, clear, clear. see through, yeah. see through. It's really cool. Okay, you gotta send us. You gotta find a link. Hold on, let me see if I can find. Um, one. Kathleen Music Lover uh, wants to know, Walter, what Glock frame are you using for the build? I purchased a Glock frame. If you go on the Sportsman Guide um, website, they have it on there. It's it's made by FMK Firearms in California. Yeah, good deal on it. It is a finished um, frame that they're selling, so it's got to transfer to an FFL. Um, it, it's, but it takes all Gen 3 Glock parts. Um, I got lazy. I didn't want to do a polymer 80 thing because I've already got one of those. Um, there you go. So I just figured I'd buy all the parts. And I, I bought that frame. I bought the slide off of eBay. An unfinished slide has no markings on it, no serrations, anything. I think I might dimple the whole thing. Kind of like a... What's that? 134. 134. Uh, I, I bought a barrel off of eBay for $78. That's not the cheapest. Um, Bear Creek Arsenal sells barrels sometimes. Well, before the pandemic, they sold them really cheap. Um, but I didn't want to wait. <laughs> so I basically I bought all the other parts off of eBay, the, the slide parts, the frame parts. Um, and then that uh, frame is coming from... from um, I'll show it. Well, can we do that? I guess we can. Really. Um, if you have a um, picture or something, here. Let me roll in. Let me roll in the link that Patrick sent, cause that is a, cool. I want one of these. It's a clear Gen Four Glock 19. Look at that. It's cool. That is so awesome. It, it, What's that? The clear, the see-through Glock. Oh, the clear one. Yeah, the clear one. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. They're doing. I mean, what? that region is doing some crazy stuff. Yeah. If you want to see something really crazy, I thought it was crazy. I saw it today. Not in the Dara region, but the uh, AC Unity magazines. Uh, Re Recoil magazine, uh, Ian, Ian, what's his last name? Mm -hmm. The editor of the uh, Recoil went to Bosnia to the factory of AC Unity, mm -hmm. and they show the mold for those magazines. They talk about a big chunk of metal. Oh, my God. That's a big, that? that's a big mold. Um, mm -hmm. Ian, Mc not McCollum, Ian, uh, Ian, uh, what, oh. What's it on? Where do I find it? Oh, you would ask me that. I found it on um, RTG's website. RTG Parts. Yeah. Let's uh, let me let me roll this in here for a second. Edward Andrew sent us um, his his Harry's holster. This is his Harry's holster setup right here. Um, and he says that is a CZ P10C with the Hollow Sun 507C on it. So there you go. Let me see if I could go sideways on this, maybe, and make it... Uh, uh, there we go. There you go. Very nice. Um, very good looking. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, all right. Black Sword Shinobi says, now that's a ghost gun. That's to the clear see-through. Definitely have it's to do cool. that. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, Armament you know and... That, you know what that thing needs? It what? needs some LED lights embedded in it. <laughs> it would be pretty cool. <laughs> like Christmas lights. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'd be like it'd be like one of those cars with the lights underneath. And going yeah. Down, yeah. You know what? Uh, so we can't get those here, huh? Good. Well, we can't, right? Because it's a cl it's not authorized. It's not a. It's not. Uh, oh we come can on! Get. What's the name of the company that did the um, the uh, the P eighty? Um, remember, it was an exclusive. Oh, Lipsies. Can we get Lipsies? Lipsies? Yeah, Lipsies, come on. Have now. them import a bunch from Dara, <laughs> the Dara region? Yeah, Lipsies. Let's uh, do yeah, that. I, I will that throw works. that right in the collection. I oh, think the, that paperwork would be a little challenging. <laughs> yeah, I'm with manufacture this? I don't know. Some dude mm. in the, around the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some guy named Ahmed over there. Yeah, right. He just lives somewhere around here. Yeah, Armament and Axis wants us to talk about uh, all the voting fraud evidence. Uh... Okay. Yes, I guess you want to bring us down. Let's... I I don't really. I know I know it's out there and know it's going on, but I don't have I don't have facts and figures. Um, and all that. I think Louder with Crowder has some pretty good wrap ups on this. If you if anyone wants to look at it, it's I don't know, man. I, it it's it's so obvious, right? It's so obvious. It's there, but they're also so obviously just going to ignore it. Exactly. It's exactly what's going to happen. So. I think that's the thing that, um, that's the whole problem with that to me, right? I think it's really obvious that there's tons of shenanigans that went on. I don't really know if anyone's going to uh, pay attention to it. I, I mean, there's some part of my heart that holds out hope, I guess. <laughs> but it's a very yeah. little tiny dark <laughs> corner. I don't, I don't see it. 
Yeah. Um, and it's truly sad. It is. I I'm not trying to be a wise ass. It's true. It's truly sad mm -hmm. because things don't get any better from this point. No. And and it might and it might roll down into where it gets really bad as a result of people being fed up with it. I... Um, <laughs> and and when that happens, um, I wouldn't want to be that politician that that got elected falsely because they'll end up being hanging from a tree. So um, if they're lucky. <laughs> right. If they're lucky. <laughs> Patrick, what are you trying to say? I, I, I don't know what to say. What, what, what <laughs> was that, Patrick? I, yeah, let's I go. What I, can. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I don't know what I can say on YouTube any longer without getting us all kicked off. Um, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm Walter's really opinions honest. are his alone. We may or may not totally agree <laughs> with them. All, all I'm At saying is, own. you know, people only take it so long. The system can only withstand it so long, and then there'll be a meltdown. So, I mean. I feel like we may be getting closer to that than a lot of people will want to admit. Well, I mean, is any after this, is anyone going to believe anything? It's a banana republic. Do you believe anything that comes out of any of the banana republics in South America? Nope. Of course not. Do you believe Venezuela has free and fair elections? Of course not. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no. So... Um, I uh, guess so at some point it's coming. It's watching, com you, go ahead, go ahead, Patrick. Sorry. Anybody that is watching that watches my build series, is, um, I've been thinking about offloading some stress by doing a political channel as well, where we talk <laughs> politics and guns, mostly guns politics, but uh, where we talk about all of this that's going on. Uh, if people want that or interested in seeing that, I, I won't. It won't be similar to, um, what's his name, uh, Guns and Gadgets. It won't be like that. That's not what I want to do. I kind of just want to have a rant channel where I can just rant about politics going mm. on. If you guys are interested in that. Who, who said about, who, who talked about a rant channel last year at SEMA? Did you really? <laughs> I was talking with um, our friend, uh, my brain's fine, my brain's fine, I his name, um, it was there with SEMA with us. Um, uh, who are we talk? Oh, uh, 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 you're talking about Jonathan. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and, and I'm, I'm talking about ranting about everything, not mm -hmm. just politics, but people that poop on toilet seats. Right. Tactical people, toolbox. People who, people who aren't don't act. Don't, people don't act like humans in public uh -huh. or in private. People who leave floaters and don't flush. We don't I mean, need I those. Don't top that. We don't I need can those top people. That if you want. Oh god. You want or have to, have to write with their fingers with shit on the wall. That kind of thing. Um, uh. that that's my kind of rant channel. I mean, of politics, they fall in the same they fall in the same thing actually, politicians. You know, writing with shit on the fingers in the walls. But um <laughs> I that's that I think it'd be great. You could have a lot of you could have a lot of fun. You you could have no shortage of guests to rant either. Are you yes, gonna do yes, this on yes. your channel or are you make it a separate no. channel? Totally separate. I don't want it associated with the builds oh, okay. and the. Other. I think that would be a parlor channel to be mm -hmm. quite honest. Maybe actually that could work <laughs> because I don't think it lasts very long on this open and free speech we enjoy here on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally closed and not free. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't touch yeah. a constitutionally guaranteed. You know, so something uh, that I've been thinking of, and I think I said this last time, uh, if if everything does melt down, if things really honestly do melt down. That third pin that you have been too afraid to put in because the ATF's going to come get you. You'll be drilling holes so you'll be drilling holes so fast you don't know what to do. It is all fair game at that point. I'm yeah. just saying. Um. So hold on a sec. Philadelphia. He's getting nervous because <laughs> no, we're telling no, that line. No, well, no, no, not, not at all. We're already nope. we're already ghosted. We can't. I don't know how much more ghosted we could get here. <laughs> yeah. Um. But we're already there, and the hen train channel is already there for sure. Um. Philadelphia Patriot says Babyface Pete needs to wear a suit and Jell is here if he starts a political chat. The Babyface P Pete factor. So. I, the, the P factor. <laughs> the P factor. The oh the boy. Oh, uh, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to break this up with a little bit of levity. Because it's actually it's uh, it's tragic. And I don't know that people I don't know that everybody realizes how serious it could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, unfortunately, it is. There's a whole bunch of stuff we have to look forward to. Uh, Break It With Bullet says send it. Love getting angry about gun stuff. 
Um, <laughs> you know, you know what the thing is. Look, man. Um, if you go back to the work that uh, John Crump was doing on this, you know, the uh, the leaks and the FOIA requests and. Uh, you know, the fact that the Biden camp already reached out to the ATF and, and they were looking to see what was on top of the ATF's uh, want list once Biden gets in, which was, of course, 80 percenters and braces. Um, and then other stuff that's, you know, that came out over the last over the last week. Right. You know, um, yeah, it's going to get a little crazy. Um, yeah, you, you ain't seen nothing yet. The only thing yet. I can say. Yeah. So. If or when Biden does get inaugurated, um, I I will tell everybody it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. The world isn't ending. Look back to the 1820 election. Same thing. Andrew Jackson got shafted. Four years went by. He built this crazy grassroots movement and took over with Jacksonianism for the 50 years after 1824. So it, it will, your sun will rise, even if you have to Never mind, I'm not going to say that. Because it might get us in trouble. I mean, I don't think we can't end the world. We say that all the time when we're talking about lots of stuff. The world is still going to spin. We might mess it up uh, temporarily. We might uh, X ourselves off the planet. That, but we're not ending. I don't, you know. The world's not going to end, no. But individuals? I, I think at this point there's too many of us to even really take everyone out, right? I think, I, I, and I, I do think that gun folk are I think gun folk are gearing up for the fight so if one person goes down I was I wasn't telling Marley this the other day but guns and guns and gadgets if if there is some sort of call to arms around these people that are free speech people I'll be on the plane tomorrow if I have to be I'll take a week off two weeks off and I will be on the plane ready to plane we gotta oh, drive listen, there the, the, yeah, the London can't. ranch or whatever yeah <laughs> We're gonna have to drive there, but I, I understand yeah, the sentiment. I will be driving then because mm -hmm. I'm I'm not giving up freedoms. It's not happening. I think everyone all needs people, to hold everyone needs to hold their state, though, don't you think? All the all these people that are, we should all just just get along now. Listen, now that Biden's in office, everybody should just get along. No, no, it's like no, you can no. fuck right off. We are the resistance, right? I yes, I'm, I that's why. That's I have so many, I have so many things that we can't fill with two hours. That's why I was like, I really should just do a B channel where all I do is just vent about whatever I feel like venting about. I feel like people would tune in. It might be cathartic for you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, people could tune in. You could have a how red does your face get meter? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Only people who have seen you mad know what that looks like. <laughs> well, I, I might do it. We'll see what we'll see if I if I. You need to just get an animation of your face, like you could do the you know your your logo with the beard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just do an animation like pale, and then it gets slightly pink. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just starts just starts blooming up. You know, that can be like how yeah, pissed off. Some things. Are, so a, a thing I think. Uh, one thing that people don't realize about me is if uh, if you hear me talking or whatever, I'm not angry. I'm really not angry. I'm one of those brooding angry types where when I get really quiet, that's when I'm really angry. Oh, like shooting the shit or whatever. If I'm if I'm still being cordial, I'm not angry. When I get really really quiet, that's when it, I'm I'm really. Quiet. Uh, why why are you laughing, Walter? <laughs> I never mind. <laughs> He's, you know, like an angry drunk. He's like a vindictive angry drunk. <laughs> well, anyways, I thought about venting uh, on YouTube, but we'll see. Who yeah, knows? I, don't I think may get kicked off that. before that even becomes an off. Yeah, the vent. Create it. Yeah. Vent. Create, create it and vent. find a place for it. I mean, that you know, I'm not gonna stop making whatever content I make. Is the home gonna change? Mm, probably. probably. Probably soon. Yeah. Um, Elfster's rifles and reloading says if I get any more ghosted. I'll need to make some pottery on the wet wheel with Demi Moore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just call me Casper. That's yeah. all. Yeah. The friendly guy. Yeah, it's great. You know what? So I made two videos. Actually, I think we did two separate podcasts, but then I pulled out snippets talking about uh, the runoff in Georgia. And I put that up on the main Hank Strange channel. 
Uh, neither one of those videos, I haven't checked, I guarantee you right now if someone looks at it, neither one of those videos has hit 800 views. <laughs> That is severely... Go that, I was already ghosted, but maybe stuff was hitting a couple thousand views. Uh, no. Those are probably still in the 700s right now. Interesting. So, yeah, that's what's going on with that. I mean, you know. I think we still have some things we could do. Basically, we're the resistance, you know. And I think every state that is um, at least trying to pretend they're a free state should draw the line and say, yeah, we're not going to have this in our state. In part of the frustration, though, of being of being the resistance, and I, I wonder if this is how it goes for all resistances in the past, are when you when you think of Hollywood, you think of the resistances in the movies, they're always the good guy. And everybody watching the movie is always behind them, right? In society, it doesn't work like that. You are – we might think of ourselves as like the freedom fighter resistant types. The other crowd, the, the especially the, the modern media, is going to be like – condemning the the thoughts that we have constantly uh that's why you have to shut them down yeah, yeah. um that you never mind I'm john sure. crump says wolverines <laughs> wasn't uh yeah. we are the resistance wasn't we, we have a from? society we have a we have a uh uh the media is very dependent on 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 technology mm -hmm. and you there's ways to shut all that down so <laughs> And and some of it's physical, and some of it is their way. You know, you use use the things you know about Patrick. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. And you some of some things you just turn the power off, and with no power, Absolutely. there is no technology. Yeah. <laughs> or you ju you start to ignore certain entities. Um, who's listening to Fox News anymore? I, they lost me. They're done. Ever. Yeah, they're oh. off the. They're off. I won't. I don't even look on the online anymore. I used to do that in the morning. Just flip through Fox News. No, no more. Yep. Yeah. I'm on. I'm with you on that. Done. Over. Um, those guys. Those guys uh, got corrupted a little while back. Maybe a, uh, while, you know, maybe a lot of while back. You no, know, they got to have the shekels. You know. They yeah. got to have the... Well, you have to realize. You know, Fox News is their uh, headquarters is actually not far from um, YouTube's headquarters. You know that, right? Is it really? No, it's not far. If I mean, you if you look it up if you look it up in um in uh, Silicon Valley or wherever that is, uh, they're not far they're not far separated from each other. And if you notice something now, like if you look at Fox News on YouTube, tons of advertising. Then they're not going to. Yeah. They Fox News, real real news. What I consider news, um, even when you start going center left, like um, oh god, what's that guy's name that does the the podcast that wears the beanie can't think of it off tim of tim pool tim pool mm -hmm. even when you start thinking center left like tim pool they're never have you ever seen him on the actual suggested list like the uh trending now page tim mm -hmm. pool doesn't get up there mark dice doesn't get up there louder with crowder who is now multiple times bigger than um the young turks never get up there fox news is up there cnn is up there uh the young turks are up there no, it's 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 all a it's all a game. It's all a. Game. There's going to be a few people still looking at Fox News, just like there's people who are still think they're members of the NRA. You know, they, people. There's some people out there who still I, think there's such a it's thing. It's so sad. It's so sad because as a kid, you you think you grow up on the NRA being the the big guy that fights for your rights, and it's just mm -hmm. same with Fox News. You grow up thinking like this is the. This is the conservative news media, and it's like, no, this is another organization out for their own. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. um, Night Train says this. He says, speaking of the resistance, I just recently joined the Delaware State Sportsmen's Association to fight the upcoming draconian gun control bills. They are lining up to shove down our throats. Delaware, I know. It sucks. Uh, right now, I'm guessing Anonymous is planning on moving to, like, West Virginia or something. But I don't know if that's. I'm not sure if that's even going to help. Too. There might be some good spots right across from the NFA uh, tech branch in in West Virginia. There, <laughs> <laughs> McNeely, yeah. West Virginia, I believe it is. Mm. McNeely is mm. that? Um, yeah. No. Uh, Bricks wants to know. Um, so who are you getting your news from? If it's all fake, just curious. Um, I'm I'm getting my stuff from a lot of different places. There's no place in particular. 
you guys are going to um, laugh at this. Uh, and I, I've had family laugh at me for saying this before, too. Um, <laughs> I don't necessarily get my opinions from this place, but Raw News, mm-hmm. <laughs> I actually I actually enjoy looking at 4chan for a lot of the Raw stories coming out. Mm-hmm. Mostly because, one, it's Raw and Uncensored. Um, but the second thing is, you know the swing that is coming from a place like 4chan. You know the peop- the type of people that browse that. So you know what spin is trying to be put on it. It's not like it's not like a news agency that is stabbing you in the back because they're trying to get you to follow what they believe. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Uh, as raw of a story as I can get is what I want. I want looking at Twitter. I want people that are taking videos of what's happening so I can see it from my own eyes and make my own decisions. Yeah. Multiple right, sources. Right. Uh, conf- like check, confirm, do your own research. You see a headline, look it up. I know it's it's a lot of work. It's not easy. You know, it's like it's like the Beirut bomb that went off, the f- fertilizer thing. Yeah. So many little plots and theories, but just yeah. watch the vi- just watch the video. Mm-hmm. Just watch the slow motion video. No plots, no theories. They had a fire. It went boom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we someone, all wanted it someone, to be more than it was. Someone effed up. And yes. I was confused. you can make all these conspiratorial things, and it was this and that. At first, I thought some of that stuff. But you know what? They just fucked up. <laughs> what is it never attribute malice to what could be stupidity or something like that well if, if the way you could tell that that some like all, most of these places are messed up if they refuse to investigate any of this stuff coming out it's a, it's a lie yeah so i mean there's a lie involved yeah, with, when you have to turn to crowder and and all the other places we mentioned this is when you know you're in trouble when the actual when the news companies out there the professionals I'm using that word lightly, you know. Um, the journalist. Yeah, when the they refuse to investigate yeah. even and see, they see zero. When you see zero, you know there's a problem. The, so yeah. the other thing to remember is always fight yourself when you start agreeing with a person or group too much. Other than us, because we know everything. You should agree with everything we say. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, when you start watching stuff and you're like agreeing a little too much, you may want to step back and go, Am I just falling into their trap? You know. Yeah. Yeah. And um, as far as what news I've been watching lately, I haven't been. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, I, I turn it. I mean, they're, what? What? Am, what? What? What are they going to tell me? I can go outside and see what the weather is. Mm-hmm. It's going to be. It's, it's raining. It's clear. It's nice. Um, I kind of know what's coming up. I don't really need. You don't have. If, if you if you don't think that that there's going to be an inauguration, Antonia, um, you're kidding yourself. Yeah. There will be. Yeah. I mean, I'm going <laughs> to um, go with they... ODB, man. I like it raw. You just I think I think one of you guys already said that. Whatever yeah. is the raw news, that's what you that's need what to I know. Wanted. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Sun is up <laughs> like you're saying, Walt. Tell 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 me just tell me what happened, the actual events, and I'll make my mm-hmm. own mind up. Mm-hmm. You know, I can figure things out pretty well. I've been around for a couple of days and I've seen these politicians at work. The whole gun thing is nothing new. It's going to do the same freaking shit again they did with the assault weapons ban, they're gonna play that same card, and they're gonna ban. They're gonna ban bayonets again. They're gonna Wait, ban they everything. Ban bayonets. Ba- bayonet, um, bayonet mounting. The lug. You couldn't have stuff. a lug. Yeah. Because it's so awesomely scary. Yeah. Um, you know that black gun of yours is scary to them because Most black. Of all of the ones I have. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's gonna all the same cycle. It's a cycle. Politics is a cycle. So what's gonna happen, and I hope it does, is. People are going to come to realize that this was, oh, fuck, we messed up. Oh, shit. You know, even the purple the purple people eaters out there and the all the fringe groups that are in the Second Amendment go, oh, God, our guy is not protecting us. Then there'll be a, there'll be a, uh, we'll use a, a political lynching in some of the next elections where they, where they, where the, there's be big change of power. It's happened before. It happened mm-hmm. in 94 after the assault weapons ban. Then. People get fr- they get sleazy and easy so and me, forget about things and it goes back the other way. Give me uh, I just said a mouthful. I don't know what I said that was a mouthful. Somebody can bricks can can fill me in. If I don't know. Or dis- I wasn't um, I wasn't specifically listening. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I said that was. A well, whenever you get done with that mouthful, just spit it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that, that might be an innuendo. <laughs> that might be double entendre. What Patrick. happened, Walter? Since you were like highly focused on this around that time, mm-hmm. what happened? after the assault weapons ban was signed in, did people, one, so one question, were people as aware of what was happening with their politics and gun rights then as they are now? Um, 
And was there a major backlash for people saying, no, you're not going to take her rights away or this is wrong? Like, what happened? I don't think there was a major backlash with the, no, you're not going to take my rights away. They just said, uh, the first thing, they just did whatever they wanted. Um, yeah. uh, uh, people still bought magazines, still bought high-capacity magazines, so people still sold them. Um, those, those, you know, those ones had the markings on it for law enforcement only. Yeah, I love stick, those. You know, um, but um, yeah, but to come next time around for congressional things, the whole the, the power shifted in the in the house. Did it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They swing, threw them all swing out. Swing back. Swing back. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Now I don't know if people are that aware anymore. See, we, they, in '94 there was no such thing as the internet, 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 um, and all the influence of that, and and all these. Um, other commentators and websites and all that. I don't know if we can have a swing back if the election was stolen. Right? Well, you I mean, have to, which is again, which is which is pretty clear, right? If, so if that, if that if that kind of thing continues on, then um, and you keep a certain side keeps winning when obviously they didn't win. Uh, eventually, there's one, things there's could. There's one solution to that. Yeah, <laughs> there's only one way to fix it, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you <laughs> need to flush the toilet. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, let me see. Okay, a couple of things. Let's. I know this is going back a little bit. So Rittenhouse got bailed out by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good news. Yeah, Ricky Schroeder and uh, the, the, the my my pillow guy. Yeah, well, you know what? Everybody laughs about that. God mm-hmm. bless him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I don't have the money to bail him out. I'm, I'm glad. That my pillow guy him. used to be a crackhead. You know that, right? Yep. Yep. He's a recovering crack addict. You know, uh, he proved he could pull himself up. Pillows. Huh? Yeah. Jesus and started selling pillows. Amen. <laughs> hey, hey, Amen have you that. ever sl- have you ever tried to sleep in a bed with a fucked up pillow? Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> thing. You cannot sleep right when you have this wimpy, crappy pillow. For sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah. what is more important than okay? Aside from your having sleep a, is uh, really uh, important. He said a third, a third of our lives asleep. So yeah. that's where you re- your body regenerates, and you know you get your. You know. I can tell you a good night's sleep. Like I got a good night's sleep last night. I was up and ready to go at like 7.45 this morning. If I have a crappy night's sleep, I do not want to get out of bed. I will lay around as long as I can and drag it out as far as possible. <laughs> I mean, it makes a big difference. So you make fun of the pillow guy if you want, but I will take his business any day. No, listen, I respect him. I wish I wish him and Ricky yeah. Schroeder would start making coffee. <laughs> That's what they need to do. We, did we talk coffee news as well? Because that came up, didn't it? <laughs> it did, but um, yeah. Oh, I don't know if anyone wants to rehash that. Some people, you know. I just there's another there's another up up and coming coffee company that um, that's just I the opposite. Se- I heard there's Second Amendment coffee, right? What's the? What? Yeah. Why is this the new gun thing? Listen, I'm gonna start a company. I don't drink coffee, so I could coffee. care less. Oh, yeah. I love coffee. Lola's oh, the coffee that. drinker. If I drink Oof. coffee, it knocks me out. Lola, the other day, I was so uh, see. This is what happened. Lola made me breakfast and, and gave me a cup of like what I call hot chocolate coffee. I don't know what other people call that. Half cream, half coffee. I call it hot chocolate coffee. There's 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 mostly hot chocolate in there and some yeah. coffee. So anyway. She gave me one of those, and then I made the mistake of saying, because it tasted delicious, and I got another one. Guess what happened to me? I fell asleep. Knocked out. <laughs> Gone. That's interesting, because coffee wakes me up for sure. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the smell of it. Oh, yeah. I love a good cup of coffee. I like the Ooh. taste of that flavor in a good, like, like a molasses a molasses cookie with the frosting that has some of that coffee in it. Oh, like the, mm. the sprinkle? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. My mama used to make those cookies. No. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, listen, so so to answer the question, Patrick, why is coffee a thing? I think a lot of people... Lola does it. She drinks a lot of coffee. You know, no. people do it. I, I agree with it. that. Mm-hmm. I just... It's coffee. funny that the gun industry has, like, taken a fancy to you multiple there have been multiple pro to a coffee companies which is just an mm-hmm. odd thing to me. um there's been a bunch of stuff remember there was a soap company remember fight soap fight Soap. he went under i think yeah. and uh yeah, he, somebody else yeah, took yeah. over we we want to support because here's the thing right and this happens to all of us we can't all the companies out there that hate us are too numerous to even mention 
and some things we have to do like apple doesn't apple doesn't like us but i got to use apple products it's easier yeah. for me to do what i need to do and it's either apple stuff or i don't know what's my choices here get a pc with windows on it or do freaking uh what's it called uh java or some nonsense <laughs> Ubuntu. <laughs> yeah i'm not yeah. Was... linux linux that's why my yeah. brother is always trying to push that on me just do linux it's just the coding is easy i'm like i, I don't want to code anything I use um I use at the shop Thunderbird and um the other the other one for uh, I forget what it is um, yeah but anyways so we're we're limited in what we could do and I think as gun as gun folks we would like to support some companies out there that we think are pro us right mm -hmm. even if it no, costs I, I, more yeah but I agree uh, with that yeah. are you willing to pay three times as much for a coffee just because <sighs> just because somebody just because somebody was in the military, not for anybody that was in the military, don't get your feathers all ruffled. Um, but you're you're getting you're getting buff, you're getting Muddled. taken to the cleaners just because you and you know. I, I had some. Would you, the, uh, would you go to a gas station and pay three times as much because the guy was 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 it's owned by uh, uh, veterans? You know? I I think no. so. So the quick answer to that is no, because all of us are conscious no. of what we spend. When you charge your Tesla at a charging station, it was twice as much no. because no. no, no. But now, will we pay a little bit more to support people we think are down with us? Yes. Yeah. But if we've come to realize that they're not really down with us, that they've got levels of specialness, like I've seen this a lot of times, there's levels of specialness. Everyone, the military no, veterans are, yeah. there's, there's levels of specialness. Every, like we're all three civilians here. Everyone looks down on the civilians, right? And then inside of the, the, of the ex-military guys, there's people who look down on the guys who weren't spec ops. Yes. You know, and then yeah. there just keeps being this thing. I, like, I don't care. I've never really been into any of these specific groups. There's awesome dudes who are spec ops who don't act like that. They they okay. treat you like a human being. There's off, there's awesome people who are in the military they, that treat people great. I'm happy to, like, help everyone. But it gets it gets rough sometimes when you realize people are just using you. And it's not a – it's like a one-way street type of deal. Yeah, well, you know, you, you – yeah. Yeah, so I'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and the, here's the funny thing, like about that whole Black Rifle Coffee thing. They literally canceled the dude that worked at um at the Blaze. They canceled him first, and then uh, by proxy they canceled Rittenhouse by disclaiming him or whatever. Even though they they were supporting um uh, uh ex recon uh mm, Marine the wife beater. You know so. So they, in, in, to me, they cancel those two people, and then they're like, everybody's trying to cancel us, cancel culture. Now that's a defense that everyone is like, oh, everybody's trying to cancel us, cancel my culture. Son, my son brought up something yeah. that Black Rifle Coffee Company has uh -huh. the, uh, they're the people in the Pentagon selling coffee. Are they really? So they are, they, uh, yeah, yeah, they are. They are kowtowing to you know folks. I'll just say this. You know what those guys are afraid of? They're afraid of their stores getting um, targeted. The truth? They're, they're afraid of their stores being targeted for rioting and protest by Black Where's Lives Matter. Where's all that Matter happening now? Where's the riot and protest? I don't now? think it is. But that's it's what they, they're, they're like. They're on other levels, you know? So when you start getting up into these other levels, you got to cater to the people on if you other wanna, levels. If you want to play like with the government like they're doing, yeah. you have to. You cannot. You're. you're as soon as you sign that contract, your your First Amendment rights go away. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have no more freedom of speech once you decide you're going to be a government contractor. Listen, I've yeah. spoken to people who were in the military. I've spoken to people who did military, who did the spec op stuff, and and they've said those guys are, you know, they're messed up. But at the end of the day, my thing is, you know, they have the right to do whatever they want to do with their company. Yeah, I get that. You. you know, um, and then people. I don't have, drink coffee, so people care. can either support them or not. So I had some. So I, I actually had some over the break to try it. Mm -hmm. uh, my cousin bought a, a pound. Is it me or is your voice a little low? No, it's not. It's it's me oh. too. So, okay. so is this any better? His audio is doing yeah, something. I don't, change. Yeah, it's kind of low. I don't know if it's low for the folks out there. Maybe. Is that any Yeah, better? that's good. That's yeah. I, I did this the other night. I have no idea why. Unplug, replug. Works perfectly. <laughs> um, 
So uh, my cousin bought a pound of their coffee, which, by the way, is fourteen dollars a pound plus shipping. <laughs> fourteen dollars, where I can get Folgers for what four ninety nine, um, and it was okay. I mean, there's nothing special. It tasted like coffee. Um, it was. The way a lot of this stuff happens, because I've been at SHOT Show. Walter, didn't I introduce you to a guy one time at SHOT Show in your booth that was from Columbia? And he was like, hey, you know, I know all these uh, coffee people. You could put whatever name you want to on coffee. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, they brand it, whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, look, I I think I want to see Ricky Schroeder do something awesome. I think it's cool he put money together, the MyPillow guy. Yeah. It's awesome. No one, yeah. no one is obligated to support anyone. Um, you know, all of these things are complex type of situations. And, uh, you know, I agree with people that said, like, hey, that kid, sh- you know, Rittenhouse shouldn't have gone to that thing in the first place. But to me, once he was there, um, he had the right to, to fight for his survival, which is what he was yeah. doing. You know, and then people could support him or not support him. It's up to everyone. People can support or not support things out there. One of yep. the things everyone starts calling for is, oh, we got to stick together. We get, you know, everyone has to stick together. Um, Every, but, once but again, everybody... if everyone's not actually sticking together, the sticking together idea is kind of kind of crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just can't automatically say, oh, you need to support this because of this. Well, I think. Well, I my, my thing is, I, I say tell I those want. guys that. Tell those guys that everyone has to stick together. Yeah. This is the thing that people don't think about, right? Everyone has to stick together, but some people aren't sticking together. I think this is the same thing that goes, that carries over to the story with braces. <laughs> you know? Um, and, and the news that came out from Ammo Land and then subsequently got uh, uh, revisioned. You know? Um, and Fake reworked. history. Revisioned history. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think it's the same kind. Of, I think it's the same kind of thing that's going on there, and people really need to uh, think about that. Yes, do we all need to stick together? Sure, but think about it. If there's companies out there that are knowingly selling you stuff that that they realize in a short period of time is going to become completely useless to you, or would set you up potentially to become a felon, that's not sticking together. Have you seen the prices lately on? Uh... <laughs> did you see flying rich's comment yeah he gave us five bucks he says it should the be hank. called strange coffee <laughs> yeah Absolutely. strange coffee black black and strange and brew. brew strange brew strange brew black and smooth 100 yeah. um, um but, uh, did, have you seen the prices on braces in the last week no. have they gone up or down uh, oh god plummeting plummeting i think i think uh, uh resellers are trying to liquidate their stock because on sb tactical stuff you talking oh, about yeah. oh, because yeah. our 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 the people asking for our stuff is not stopped. Well, you know the the one of the problems I have is SB Tactical, their their shit's way too expensive anyways. That's their problem. Um, their stuff is so overpriced for what it is. I, I'm gonna refrain from any further comment on that. <laughs> uh, you know what uh, I think the thing is? I think that for a long time there's been rumors out there that so so as we saw in that article, and we need to take this truth in everything, right? So to, can't dismiss anything, but you know that article says that the original brace and then maybe something related to Sig, those things have letters. Mm-hmm. But all the subsequent um, things that came out of there may not actually have final approval letters from the ATF, and everyone just needs to uh, consider that. Now, there's been rumors going the other way for a long time, where people, where maybe folks on that side have been saying all these other things out there don't have letters but when you talk to those people they're like we have letters for everything they don't have letters all of that kind of that kind of talk has been going on on for a long time for years (laughs) but you're you're not going to get those two people to come together and kiss and make up so uh, that's not going to happen sorry when i was still working at the uh the gun store uh the sb tactical sales guy i guess rolled through town while i was in there one day pissing around and they were like all the guys were looking through the catalog. And the SBA three was the newest thing on the market, and everybody wanted one because it's stock like. It's a brace, but it's stock like. Um, and I was looking through the catalog, and I was like, "That shit's all plastic and rubber, and it sucks. Why don't you just get a tail hook?" And the, and the guy, the guy was like, oh, "They don't. I don't believe they have a letter, so you need to be really careful about that." It's now now looking back on it, it's like, 
Oh, that didn't that didn't age well at all, did it? Well, that's <laughs> aged like a like milk. <laughs> well, that's the so these are the rumors that have been going back and forward for a long time, and so now you're starting to see some of those things pop up. And there's actually, if you look at the this, first of all, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out in these FOIA requests. So these these things are not stuff that the ATF is voluntarily putting forward, right? It's part of FOIA requests, and they have to turn these things in, perhaps a little redacted. And it's huh. it's not you know it's not coming from leaks or anything like that. Um, and if you look at these things, there's cases. In some cases, cases they're slowing everything. They're slowing stuff down, but there's cases of them prosecuting people because technically, what the person had was an SBR to them. Now, on the flip side of it, uh, and John Crump, by the way, is saying that Tailhook has a letter. Um, the, the 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 flip side of that is, I think none of us would argue the fact that the freaking ATF is way out of control. Absolutely. Granted, yes, yes. Now, some of those people that got busted or had problems with their braces, modified the braces too. Mm -hmm. By simply taking paracord and wrapping it around the back or, or taping it together mm -hmm. or make it into, make it into a stock. Mm -hmm. this, this, yeah, yeah, this is a complicated, deep story, but I think what everyone needs to ask, and I think it's going to take time to see really what comes out of this, but you have to ask a simple question. If a manufacturer out there or a group of manufacturers knew that they were selling something that's a very expensive thing and they were selling oh, it to people and they know and they knew that they did not really have letters for that thing and that potentially um those folks owning those things would either have to destroy them turn them in register things or or get catch felony charges and they still kept doing that would you guys hold them accountable would you be mad about that? Would you say, hey, we're supposed to all stick together, but damn it, you sold me something that you, you okay. know, was basically a lie. In the same, I'm not defending anyone, but in the same idea, you're, you're the agency that's supposed to be enforcing the law, mm -hmm. and you don't enforce the law, or you don't enforce your own rules, and you knowingly let it go on for years? Mm -hmm. Well, Aren't you at fault, too? I think so. I think if, if I think if they didn't make it public, but what were they up to, right? And and some of some of what's out there points to the fact that they were they're just building a case. Remember, the government has forever to build cases against you. But there's also I forget what it's called. There's a legal term for when you do that and you knowingly entrapment. Yeah, like some stealing from you, oh. and you know what's going on, and you let it go on. That's you're you're at fault too. There's um. Uh, that, there's a case for that in uh, copyright law, uh, trademark law. Yeah. If yeah. The, the reason why uh, a lot of people think that companies are really dicks when they go after uh, people making their own stuff mm -hmm. that is trademarked, and it's because if if you show if a case comes up before a judge and you show like, well, you've been letting it go on for the last ten years, and now all of a sudden you're enforcing it it can look negatively upon the trademark holder or the copyright holder. Right, because you just let it go on. Sure. Yes. Now, there's a couple of things here, though. So one, uh, okay, so one, Crump is saying that the case that he was looking at, there was no modifications to that thing. Two, you have to remember... Have, go ahead. Does he does he have a link to the case, or do, is there more information on that particular case? Because I'd like to read it. There's so much information out there, it's mind-boggling. But... Yeah. That's the problem. Is is it somewhere where I can go find info on that particular case? Because I would like to see I what might the have said. I'm, about it. I might have sent you something. Now, um, I would have to. I would have to go back and look after this. The other thing you have to realize is that if you're a company that doesn't have an FFL and you manufacture accessories, the ATF can only. What, what can they? They can't actually go after you because those accessories you're making are not a problem until someone puts it on a gun. So yeah. now who they can go after is the people who are putting those on guns, which Absolutely. every company and their mama and their mama's mama is including putting Including some on. of the, the largest ones in the industry. Yeah, including some of the big guys are now doing that. And this is the reason why weeks ago the news came out that Q and other companies got letters. And that right? means Remington got a letter. That means SIG got a letter. That means right. a B and T makes one. Yeah, everybody makes and one. And some companies quietly just took those things off out of stock, 
right? Some companies uh, just said, oh, no longer available. <laughs> Discontinued, <laughs> right? So the thing is, yeah. is that there's something, there's something going on here that we're going to find out about in time. For sure, the ATF has problems. We got to deal with that. But that doesn't also absolve companies of their liability if they knowingly are selling things to people um, that can endanger those people, right? Because who's going to be looking out for you? Like, you know, the people who were talking like, oh, we all got to stick together. If you get arrested <laughs> and you're looking at a felony, who's looking out for you? Yeah, they're, they're not. Uh, they're uh, not being clarify like that. that. Who's paying your bills? Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> it ain't stick. You can stick together and be all like, "Oh yeah," but yeah. who's paying the bills? Right. Nope. Crump says, uh, "Right now, I'm only going to say everyone needs to make their own decisions," which is pro which Absolutely. is what I said the other day. Yeah. No, no. I think I think we all agree on that. It's it's up to you. Mm -hmm. But if the ATF starts saying that, oh, all these uh, you know, 10 million braces out there are machine guns. Well, yeah. Fuck it. I'm gonna drill a third hole in my gun because what's the difference? It's the yeah. same felony. Right. right. <laughs> now realize that over this weekend, when everything went down, there was this big thing going on called Black Friday sales, where a lot of companies sell stuff. So there might have been millions of dollars involved in that, <laughs> that no one wanted to put a halt to the millions of dollars of those sales. And all of this is going to eventually come out. And the question that comes up to me is, are we really all on each other's side? No. I'm just going to throw it out there. No. <laughs> this is he one thing about Babyface. He doesn't mince words. Our, our man X is asking me if I have a letter for my braces. I don't make a brace. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it, got, it keeps quiet. I, but yeah, you don't make that's a brace. it. it matter. I don't make a brace. Yeah. Um, and KY, uh, KY Guns and Radio says, but SB Tactical managed to put SBRs in millions of gun cabinets. That's a good thing. Um, I, you so, know. so part of it... So part of it is, I, I, okay, I think the unfortunate result of making 10 million people uh, felons overnight might turn into, this will be taken out of context, I guarantee it, it might be a silver lining in the sense that, well, we now have 10 million people who are going to fight tooth and nail for yeah. their rights because screw you, I'm right. not a felon overnight. Yeah, have to, but but seven, on the flip well, side, 9.9 .9 million of those people won't even know. Most people That's won't. The thing. Most so people they're not, they're not. They're not. They don't pay attention to that. Yeah, True. Yeah, exactly. Truth. They put it in their cabinet and they and it's forgotten. And I know. I could go. Most gun owners, I, like my dad, a gun owner, uh, not not a tech gun owner. He just he owns guns. Mm -hmm. I could give him my SBR and be like, here, here's a new gun, and he would say, thank you. I'm gonna go try mm -hmm. it out and have fun. He has no idea that I just made him fail. Care, it? doesn't he? Has, he has no clue that I just passed him a, mm -hmm. a felony. He has no idea. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Um, Babyface, do you want to read the, uh, we got a super chat from Stick It Inner Axle. <laughs> <laughs> BFP not knowledgeable of many and master of none. <laughs> Good name. Good name. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wisdom. Wisdom. <laughs> be here. Be here all week. Yeah. Listen. Uh, I love the. <laughs> Multiple things, yeah. Wonderful. Multiple things could be true, and we are looking at a very complex situation. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 They were looking at a and, complex and, situation, and and yeah. why wouldn't the ATF? Uh, I mean, I know the answer to this, but why wouldn't they make clear guidelines? Because there is a problem for people making things, right? We're all interested why? in making things. Why wouldn't they make clear guidelines so you don't have to keep resubmitting something and spending because a ton then, of money? What use is their clear guidelines if they change it? Yes. And and who are they? And for, it's back up here. I thought it was. Uh, they should not be. Should not be infringed thing. What? Where? They, they should not be making any guidelines on anything. They're not because yeah, they're not they're not lawmakers. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. You got to yeah. take this back to what this all goes to. All these regulatory agencies. I don't care what they say about. Oh, there was a ruling of the Supreme. They're not the people who make law. Yeah. Isn't that what? what, what who is it? Matt Getz. One of the congressmen was... Yeah, he's in here in uh, Florida. Yeah. So this whole um, thing is... You know what? You know what's funny? And, I, and I'm not trying to switch. We got like 20 minutes here. We could definitely keep talking about this or get into other things. Oh, we go way. So tomorrow, we're, we've got this guy coming on who actually worked for the ATF. So I'm going to expect all you guys to be on your best behavior. 
Who, who I, is he? What's I'm his name? Saying, this is like my mom used to say to me when I was a kid and people came over to the house because she knew I was <laughs> an obnoxious little kid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mom would say, if you don't got something good to say, don't say nothing at all. Exactly yeah. right. I used to get, like, advanced beatings for one, crap one I was really, going to say. One note on the braces before mm -hmm. we leave. Sure. As somebody who makes something and mm -hmm. makes my living making things, mm -hmm. soon as all, whether it's braces or it's whatever it is, soon as they start talking about, you know what I start thinking? How am I going to either adapt to it or am I going to make something else and just move along? Right. Okay, so uh, you, yes, yes, fighting is good. Yeah, fighting is great. But if you're making your living, if you're working another job and fighting, yeah, you got nothing to lose. Well, Be unless we, unless we collectively have the revolution, the the single folks who get caught out there with something and lose their rights, lose their job. Some cases, people lose like custody of their children. The, the, all of this stuff like just keeps branching out and gets complicated. Mm -hmm. Those people are on their own, and no one really cares about them. Right. Um, people have said to me like, oh, well, you don't care because, you know, you're on YouTube. I, I, I could tell you guys I've already been in into stuff and very few people have my back. So I already know how that all goes. You're going to be on your own. I, I automatically go into, I say, uh, Hillary Clinton mode where I'm where I'm thinking of other things I can make. I'm thinking of other ways to make money. I, I have to. Yeah, I, no, absolutely. I, can't, I can't sit and be put out of business because because of one ruling I mean, mm -hmm. and it's not going to happen so whether i'm making go-kart parts or i'm making uh schnauzel adapters <laughs> we're gonna make something you know mm -hmm. so what did uh what who who is uh, the guest on oh, okay Friday? yeah what was so he let me, let what me... was he part of okay so um so his name is vincent a cephalo right there and this is his book it's called rat snakes um and it's cheating death by living a lie inside the explosive world of atf's undercover agents and how we change the game so he was an undercover agent for the atf i'm actually listening to this on audiobook right now um and his people reached out to my people basically lola is a because I, I i don't you know i don't have a lot of people so it's lola or or maybe patrick or walter but uh, <laughs> he's coming on he he was i think he did this for like 25 years or more um he worked as an undercover eight ATF agent and he's coming on to talk about what that's like and how he got into that I could tell you from what I've uh, Heard so far, you know, he started out as like one of those troubled kids who was always getting locked up and spending time in juvie And then how did he get into the ATF? Um, I think the judge uh, said you better go you better go into the armed forces or you're going to jail <laughs> kind yeah, of a thing. Okay. And he went into he went into the Marines and then when he got out of that, you know, uh, I guess the Marines uh, cleaned him up straightened him out so to speak. Yeah and then he went off, um, and and you know he went off and joined the ATF, and uh, went after probably so, the big cases out there, right? The uh, organized crime and such. So he did he did real good law enforcement. He didn't do. I'm gonna go bust Joe Blow down the street for having a pistol brace on his shouldering a pistol brace. He wasn't that type of. I guy. don't think so. I mean, but that's definitely a good question that I like to get into it with him today. I mean, tomorrow. the question is, do they have a choice? If you get assigned you to a job, a you don't have a choice. You always you have do a what you're told, and if you're not, don't do what you're told. They're going to send you to some some place out in the middle of bumfuck Asia, Egypt. Well, and in the you forward of this, in the forward of this, he talks about that. Like there were agents who were told to do illegal wiretaps, and refused to do no. it, and uh, reported that person who asked them to do it, and they were punished. Oh, so absolutely. That kind right. of stuff happened. The only way, in any of these agencies, the only way you you move ahead is you have to put people in jail yeah 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 that's yeah. the point yeah you create or you create your aura by being you do what you're told and you do it efficiently and then yeah know. um kermit loves bacon says is this the atf agent responsible for fast and the furious no i don't i don't think so and i think he talks about that and talks about how that was uh there was actually a forward in here from a former congressman that said that whole fast and furious thing was a travesty and at the end no one got no one um no one uh, suffered for it no one was punished for that like even though we saw all of that come up in congress and lots of money was look i think it's going to be an interesting conversation he reached out to me he's coming on he wrote a book we can you guys will will do it the way we normally do it you can ask questions and he could talk about all these things it's kind of you know listen i've been places before and uh 
I think I've told you guys one time I went somewhere in Arizona and I was going into this to this gun store that I knew and there was like a biker dude walking up behind me and he knew me and it like like it made my heart skip a beat for a second I was like what's up with this because this guy looked really scraggly very suspicious right he looked like a legitimate biker dude with tattoos and all that kind of stuff you know probably Aryan nation and all that but he knew my name and I was like oh crap and then but he came in the store with me and the guys were like oh you know he's cool we know that guy he turned out to be an undercover agent and he said that he you know his job was to infiltrate bike biker gangs and, and stuff like that so there's you know there's certain like everyone can't do that job right i'm not oh, sure no, if that's need... not an easy job to do yeah so <laughs> i'm assuming that uh vincent cephalo that's the you know that's the kind of job that he was doing for a long time um it's not necessarily an easy thing but you know i find i think it's interesting so um yeah i mean yes yeah it is so um you know listen well i think it'll be a cool interesting conversation you guys are invited to join in on that and we'll see where it goes and we can ask questions for two hours right <laughs> uh brian yeah. quick says never forget ruby ridge nope so or waco yeah yep yeah, you know um and probably numerous other ones you don't yeah. even never even heard and a lot of things there's good people and bad people when i spoke to mike daddy mike daddy was a marine you know he wanted to do the right thing and and he was part of that whole fast and furious um thing that went down and he was coming from a right from the from a good place um as a ffl you know he went to the atf when he saw these guys were trying to buy stuff and take it across the border and uh, he got caught up in all that and uh turned out tragic um you know including for him so but he's not that he he didn't suffer the worst of it but he got caught up in some some nastiness right it's, it's yes, just sir. one of those things it's one of these crazy things so anyway we're gonna have that guy on tomorrow we'll talk to him uh everyone's invited you know um and if someone wants to come on here with me and talk to him, they could do that. If not, it'll just be me and him. What's that? What's up? I'll Pat? jump on. Yeah. I'll come on. I was just going to say, uh, before we get too far gone mm -hmm. in our evening, uh, I got to show off my $35 <laughs> purchase I made over the weekend. Okay, it's yeah, not a, it's not a fuel filter, is it? Practical and tactical. Oh, yeah. Okay, hey, hold on hey, a second. Hey, easy on the fuel filters, all right? Easy. easy. <laughs> you ready for it this? better not be a fuel filter. That's all I know. Go ahead, Patrick. Go ahead. Go ahead. <sighs> Check this oh, out. Oh, yeah. Look at that beauty. That's be yeah, that's, that's nice. That is pretty as a uh, Came off of a fire engine in Tampa. One of them, who knows. Uh, the neighbor down the street from my parents, her, uh, uh, what do you call it? Her husband, who passed away a couple years ago, five, six years ago, was a firefighter as well. Um, my dad was a firefighter. That's why I say that. Mm -hmm. uh, so she was, she was getting rid of a bunch of his things. Dad was going to help sell it because he knows other firefighters and i was it was sitting at their house and i was like oh ask janet how much she wants for the axe thinking it was gonna be like 80 or 90 bucks and i tell her i oh, don't worry about it 35 dollars plus i have the chrome hardware that like where you would put it on the truck um and like the little latch and everything so it's gonna go on the wall it's gonna be really cool talk about practical and tactical you always could use a fire axe. It's never yeah. a bad time to. And by the way, you know, you, I don't know if it's just me, but thirty-five dollars is always Patrick's sweet spot. Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> I. All right, I tell, do one, you, you tell everybody else what. You, I'm like, shoot, yeah. Tell everybody else what you got for thirty-five dollars. I will. Let me let me un undo okay. and so touch anything. Unbrace it. Unbrace it. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, and then he disappears. Okay. Uh, Chris Bullis says, kiss my axe. <laughs> uh, Before the show started, I told a story about one of those axe heads. When I was a kid, I told my grandfather one of one of those. My grandfather messed around with antiques. He was an antiquer, as we call it. They call himself. So next thing you know, what's my grandfather get me? He gets me one of those cool fireman's axe heads, axe things. I had a store at some place. place got broken into, and the scumbag stole my axe head. Uh, yeah. Ah. Wasn't so, even on the X. Yeah. Okay. I know that sucks. All right. Let's $35, see. $35. Another $35 buy. Oh, uh, if you guys want to see this in action, this is a MP5 A2 stock uh, that will be going on the MP5 once my You got that thing on. already? Yeah, it came in already. And I I 
depainted it last night. What, mm-hmm. what did you use to strip the paint on? Uh, industrial paint thinner. Um, I I always every time I go to Tampa, if I have empty gallons uh, of like acetone, it's I'll just, something. I go to Dad's shop and fill it up from the 55 gallon drum. So I always have like six or seven gallons sitting mm-hmm. around of paint thinner. Sat this in it for about 20 minutes, and all that paint came right off. And it the plastic does not. It did not care about. Is, did you get a closer look? Let's get a closer look to that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's it's in good shape. Um, it was green before. Purple, uh, oh, purple, orange, orange, orange. Huh. bright orange. Um, these things typically what they go for like eighty bucks, I think, for an HK rear stock. I don't know. I That's a good. Bucks is a good. Thirty-five. Okay, then the yeah, thirty-five. Bucks. Yeah. The loud noise from Walter's fan or whatever is kicking in again. Loud fan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you don't you don't want to know what Walter's saying. <laughs> Some very alliter- so alliterative I, words. I, I spent way too much money over the Black Friday sales days, and oh man, but I got a bunch of cool stuff coming this week sometime. Yeah. Um, and actually, I think, who was it that said this? Uh, Kermit Loves Bacon says the gun store owners involved in the Fast and Furious went to jail and the ATF just laughed. They, uh, they tried to throw what's-his-name under the bus too, right? Mike Daddy, yeah. Now that was, uh, that was Guns Across the Border for Fast and Furious. He was involved in Operation, that his thing was called Operation Wide Receiver. It was at, during the same time. And they, they tried to throw him under the bus, too, yes, right? But yes. he kept records. Yep. Yes, plus he also didn't have a record. He's very clean, you know, clean cut. Yeah. Helps. Good dude. So, um, But he made backups and stuff like that to his notes. I believe they hacked into his computer and, and deleted a bunch of stuff. And But they yeah, didn't realize he made copies and did all kind. you know. Yeah. He's an old son of a gun, man. You don't want to actually go up against that guy. He's an old lion. When we were talking about old lions in the beginning, just to come full circle, <laughs> that dude is a oh, he's a tough old dude, man. So I don't know when we're gonna get him next on the show, but he's he's uh he's pretty tough, man. Mike Daddy. Um, let's see here. What are the comments and stuff like that? I don't know if Walter Walter, you're still muted. I know because the air conditioner is still on. Yeah, Brian I think you just have to talk older over. than air conditioning. Oh, you're <laughs> older. <laughs> Oh yeah, I see that. Walter. Oh, I, so I, you know, when we moved to Florida, when we moved to Florida, I moved into a house that was built in the 20s, and there was no air conditioning in the house. Now my, my parents had a, a unit in their in their window in their room, um, but the rest of us slept in the regular room with a fan on. You know. Yeah. Um, Most, yeah. Elementary school. There was no air conditioning in the elementary um, school. Um. Have you ever lived in New York? Most of those buildings were made in the 20s. There's no no central air. Well, but then again, New York temperatures don't in the summertime typically don't reach. No, it cools off at night in New York yeah, City. Yeah, you get in you Florida, get. you know, when it's when it's when it's 81 degrees at midnight, it's not you know. Sometimes, I mean, it gets hot. It gets hot there. Like I've seen manhole covers exploding. You ever saw that? I've seen that with my naked eyes. Just seeing manhole like, covers exploding? when manhole covers go off. So let's say you're looking down the street and there's manhole covers going down that street. You'll Is see it, one after the other. You see them just popping. Is it from steam or something coming up? If uh, so, underground, if there's like a buildup of gas or something like that, it's gas in the su- in the sewers, yeah. If that gets set set off, and it pops one, it'll just keep going down the line, and you'll just see manhole covers go up. Dancing. Hmm. Yeah, and those things are pretty heavy too. They're very yeah. heavy. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. Very heavy. Yeah, um, but you know, yes, yeah. it's not, it's not, it's not. It doesn't get as hot there as. Uh, as Florida does. And this weather is weird because like inside my house, cause there's concrete slab underneath. So the house is warm and then you go outside, it's freaking, it's freaking cold. Well, you once know. it, once the slab warms up, it stays warm for a while. Yeah. It's like in the shop. Yeah. It won't be too bad tomorrow or next day, but if you have like a, two, a week or two of cool weather, once that concrete gets cold, it like a refrigerator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, yeah, it, 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 uh, what is a good word? Radiates. So it either yeah. will radiate yeah. heat or radiate the cold. Yeah. So it's like a weird situation. You go outside and you don't realize what the what the weather is. So. Yeah, um, but I'm liking it. it's cooler weather. I don't yeah. care. It can be. I, yeah. It's nice. Um, Night Train <laughs> says, "I would not be surprised if that ATF guest scheduled for tomorrow cancels at the last minute." I don't think so. <laughs> I think he's retired from the ATF. So. 
he's probably back. happy to be out. Yeah, he's retired. Yeah. You know, he's got all the shenanigans work. going on. Seems like he was a tough guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some. If you've ever heard the stories about those guys go over covering the biker gangs and stuff, that's some serious shit. Well, you have to become a, you basically in your mind. You have to be a biker. It's method acting. <laughs> Yeah. They, yeah. When they when they say when they get then they say go beat somebody up, yeah. you go beat somebody up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not it's not it's not play. Yeah, I wouldn't want I wouldn't <laughs> want to do that. It's not it's not like going undercover in a financial market in New York City. You yeah. Know? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. And I'm sure you're getting stabbed up and all all kinds of stuff yeah, happens might, in those things. Yeah, you might end up yeah. 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 It's it's uh look, it's a tough job. Tough job. Uh, Kermit Loves Bacon says, and I don't know the answer to this, so I'm going to let these, uh, all the smart people, why is a manhole cover round? Do you know? Because that way it won't fall in. That's smart. By, if, it, if, if you get it to turn sideways, it's not going to fall can't go all the way through. Oh. It can't go all the way. Look at you, Walter. Yeah. yeah. Well, I when I worked for the city as Tampa, I worked in the survey division. We did survey work. So, on occasion, you have to pop the lid on the on the whether it's sanitary or it's you know it's drainage like water drainage. So I pop the lids on sanitary ones, and you stick the pole down in the into the bottom of the thing, and you're measuring the height of the of the drains and stuff. Mm-hmm. I crawl down like in Ybor City. There's a there's a there's a drainage pipe. It's not sanitary that runs from across basically all of Ybor City underground. And you can get in there. You can walk the whole distance if you wanted. But I've been inside that, and you know, mm-hmm. it's, you know, mm-hmm. it's that was a learning experience. Yeah, um, I can imagine. Um, okay, so so it doesn't fall in. That's the official answer. Fall, fall, but they're heavy. They probably weigh 80, 90 pounds. So yeah, and they and they, and a lot of times they just don't pop off. You know, you got to take something, and you got to pry it up and get it to get it to mm-hmm. move. You know. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I've seen those things do some stuff, man. Uh, Armament and Axes gave us two bucks. He says poop for methane is real. <laughs> oh, yeah. They've had it in, in, in Mexico and Central America where the sewer system exploded. Mm. I mean, blows serious holes in the ground mm. and fires and everything else. Yeah, it's serious stuff. Yeah. yeah. And Brick says older models back in the day can fall in. Those are very old and replaced. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Chris Bullis says, "Have you ever seen a square manhole?" <laughs> I think I've never seen one. I, I don't go looking at men's holes very often. So I'm not sure. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've, the square manhole covers. Uh... You know what? I'll, I'll leave you guys with this: the wombat <laughs> poops square poops. Just yes, out. that's true. That's <laughs> true. There yeah, you go. That is it's true. Fact, square fact poop. Of the night. Yeah, if you ever see square poop on the ground, it's not an alien. It's a wombat. It's a wombat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a wombat. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I wonder. So you got to have square intestines for square poop. I don't, I don't know how that works. Yeah. Uh, I don't even want to know. Or a square I bunghole or something. <laughs> like, what's the mechanics of the square poop? You know? Uh,. You know, Patrick, I was I was debating over the weekend: Do I buy all the parts to finish my O3, my 1903 Springfield that I'm looking at here, or do I buy parts and build another a Glock 19 type gun? 1903 Springfield, all day, every day. I I know, but I fell for the I fell, you fell for, for the, the Glock. Glock hype. I need yeah. a I have a receiver. I need to start picking up parts for the O3. Um, I yeah. have a, I have an O3 receiver and a M1 Grand receiver just sitting in the safe. So. I don't think you can go wrong with uh with Glocks. No, no, you don't be. No, I, well, it's just, even and this is not even like a ghost gun. This serial, this lower has a serial number and everything. But I've just figured I'll just make it kind of like my mm-hmm. my way. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's yeah, a number. I'm probably, I'm probably actually gonna just for fun. I'm gonna serial number this slide, and I'm gonna serial number the barrel, so it's like matching. So it all matches. Oh. Matching. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get excited. Yeah. So a couple of things. A couple of things. Uh, scorched earth. <laughs> Rob Mills. Uh, Rod Mills says, I blew myself out of the bed after eating a big meal. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Avin says, uh, I could have lived a full life without knowing that. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. He's probably, that probably covers everything that was said before that. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, there's a term I use when the gas is bad. It's like you're distended like a Somali kid. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, I, I think we hit the 9 o'clock hour. That. Yeah, we probably need to, we probably need to wrap On this up note. here. Yeah, it's good. What was I missing exactly? <laughs> What were we missing? I, I, I think you guys all missed us. I'm sure we all missed you. We're going to wrap it up. We will be back for the rest of this week. At least I will. Maybe Patrick will be back tomorrow. We'll see yeah. Walter sometime this week. Um, as I said, we've got Vincent Vincent A. Cephalou of uh, Rat yeah. Snakes um, coming on. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go. I'm going to start with Babyface. How can the folks out there support you, Babyface? YouTube.com slash BabyfaceP, the second to last, one of the last MP5 videos went up today. Uh, go check it out. It is uh, test fire. We finally got to test fire it. Uh, next video will be painting, and then we're pretty much done. We gotta we gotta figure out what the next uh, the next project's gonna be. So yeah, um, and I'm I think I've got some video. I think I fired that too. I've got to probably put that up. Somewhere. Yeah, go uh, Safety Harbor Firearms maybe on Instagram has a good video of test firing it in full auto, I believe. I have that? Uh, maybe I think Hank some, has that? Someone, Somebody has it. Who posted it? Was it, me, or was it Lola? I, I don't know. Post some, that, I maybe think. Lola posted it. Go check yeah. around. It, one of the four of us has some good video of just mag dumping the MP5 on full auto uh, yeah. using a registered pack, all legal. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I have that video on my phone. I'll throw it up there at some point. Yeah, I think I don't have that one. I yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm just going to throw it out there. And someone, awesome. someone asked about my MP5. Uh, Richard from BWE is working on that. So I need to – I have we'll a part that I need to send him. So that reminds me i got to get that in the mail tomorrow to him. Yeah. Um, I'm Anybody sure... think I should build a full auto G3? Oh God! Oh <laughs> Jesus! As long as it doesn't have that wire stock. Yeah, is this a is this a short barrel or a long barrel? <laughs> well, I mean, I could I could quickly throw it together quickly. I have all the parts to. Including I mean, the short rod. barrel looks the most fun, but uh, mm. you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, like an HK fifty one. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah that looks. Uh, I've I think I've shot that in full auto before. Um, Those are truly. A short barrel 308 just yeah it just thumps you you just shoot it close yeah. you it feels like you're, something's beating on your chest yeah that's a concussion yeah oh but the Those but the flames, flames the flames are so beautiful the flames the flame boss the flame yeah. there's the flames yeah the flames are so beautiful okay Walt how can the people keep up with you and don't forget you've you've got a bunch of lowers out you got uh, safety harbor firearms lowers as well as Sevis Passum lowers and hopefully at some point there's there'll be some other lowers. In the house right now, there's two Hank Strange lowers. I've get I've been given permission that I can sell those two Hank Strange lowers. So we'll um, start the bidding at uh, two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, and let me <laughs> see if I can. Uh, 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 no, <laughs> yeah. Let me show you guys something real quick before we do get out of here. Finally, um, so. At the end of the year, we're going to be coming out with a patch soon. Let me see if I can roll it in here. This is the mock-up of the patch right there. It's uh, 2020, was held in a handbasket. And it's the Hank Strange oh. logo with a grenade and uh, getting blown up in the background. And if I go back here, you will see that uh, this is exactly what the patch is going to look like. Where is it? Uh, right there. That's what the patch is going to look like right there. It should be coming out soon. We'll have that out soon, as, as well as stickers. There's going to be stickers and everything involved in that. So I'm just teasing you guys with that. <laughs> is that is that skeleton? That's what happened. You just you poop a square turd. <laughs> um, if I ever did it, I probably would explode, and then I would freeze dry that <laughs> and put it in a museum. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be great. I would put my own self on display if I could actually do that. Um, so anyway, listen. So that we'll we'll talk about that more here as uh, time comes up. Um, big shout out to Barnules for sponsoring us. I'm gonna run in the end. Everyone, stay right there. Here we go with the end. All right. Thanks to everyone for joining us. Make sure you smash the thumbs ups, ring the bell so you can be notified every time we go live. And we are gonna rip out this audio and throw it up on iTunes and all the other places you get your audio podcasts. Who wants the last word? Uh, build them, America. Build them. There you go. Build them. All right. Oh, this is not a gun. This is just a chopped off barrel. That's yeah, all. Yeah, absolutely. Build them. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're out. Peace. <laughs>